Everyday Jam. Mm. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Thursday Night Throwdown. And it's going to be a throwdown tonight. I even put the second uh, half of uh, Morning Madness on hold so I could get everything out on Throwdown I wanted to get out first and then release that tomorrow, so look for that. Um, I am in some kind of mood tonight. I can't wait to drink this coffee that I'm making upstairs. It is make right now. There's a pot of coffee upstairs with my name on it, with my cock on it. That's Tuesday night throwdown. I'm sorry, I gotta get used to. <laughs> I'll never get used to, t- to Tuesdays <laughs> and Thursdays. It's just so Practically hard. The same day, it's fine. Yeah, this is bullshit, man. I'm really fucking angry about this. Um, Which part? Just the changing man I, I don't like change I like I miss Thursdays you know but Tuesday throwdown works you know it was a good warm-up for monetize this and that was the big thing yeah <clears throat> but you know what now it's like uh but I kind of like that because I feel like you know doing a throwdown and then the next day it's monetize this I feel like they're a little similar you know they're pretty similar you know um not a hundred percent but a little bit and so it's kind of like you know, this gives the time to breathe a little bit between the, the shows, so kind of like that. You get a couple days of recovery. Yeah, I botched this shit that. already. I fucked this up already, man. What am I doing? Cabretti, fuck me. But, uh, yeah, man, there's a lot to talk about tonight, and I just can't wait. 
to drink that coffee. That's all I really, I really, really want that coffee. Here's the producers on your screen, by the way, on Patreon. I think I got everybody on here. The only reason why you may not appear on here if you're 25 bucks and above, the only reason why you may not appear is because you have to select a level. Even if you're a $30 patron, you still have to select that you're in the 25 tier. That's stupid, but you have to do it. So if you don't see your name there, uh, I'm betting that that's your problem. And that would also make it so you won't see some posts, too. So make sure you uh, select the right shit because Patreon's weird. It's great, but it's kind of retarded, too, at the same time. Uh, D Moon, are you, uh, you know, are you going to kill JB or, or what's going on here? Like 50 messages exchanged between the two of you in the last seven minutes. <laughs> he's, uh, oh my God, he's pissing me off. Just pissing I me mean, off. listen, I don't know, dude. I mean, I, are you going to start talking about this? Are we going to start talking about this now? Or do you want to save it for a little later? I mean, fuck it. I'll talk about it right now. Like, let's get it. Let's go right now. Let's go right into it. Let's go right. Into right. It. So the whole situation with Alex Cora. I mean, uh, okay. So, I mean, this all started obviously with the whole Houston Nationals being busted for cheating. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't just sign stealing, but they were installing, you know, cameras in the center field so they can, you know, better sign steal. And then they even had like, I guess, little um, iPads or whatever in the dugout. Right. <clears throat> and then they were doing the whole uh, banging of the trash cans or whatnot to kind of give signs away or whatever. Um, and then obviously from there, I mean, led to believe, like, well, what, what, what did uh, Alex Cora do to, you know, win the World Series in, in 2018, I think it was? But now the Boston 20... stuff is like, we don't really know. Is that right? Yeah. Like... So, yeah. So we don't know too much. Nothing's been confirmed yet. All of, all we know is that um, the latest news is that Alex Cora and the Red Sox kind of agree to part ways. I mean, obviously it has something to do with that, but nothing has been confirmed yet. So I don't know why... I mean, that move honestly surprised me, to be completely honest well, with you. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck did he do? He didn't do anything on Boston that we know of, so why? Like, I mean, I, this all has to do with the Astros. The Astros are fucking cheaters, motherfuckers. Well, well, Al well Alex Cora was a part of that staff to when the, the Astros won the World Series, which is why it kind of led people to believe, well, you know, um, you know, what, what did this guy do to win? And then also, I think there was someone else that who now manages the... Mets, I believe. I think right. he was also part in on it. Uh, well, but he, he nothing's didn't, come out about him. Well, but, that guy doesn't know how to do yeah. it right, obviously. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I mean, listen, I mean, I was going back and forth with JB in the chat, but obviously, you know, with the Red Sox thing, I don't think it was done to that extent what Houston did. But, I mean, listen, dude, I, I was talking about this earlier. It does kind of diminish – the Astros win, dude. Because I mean, I mean, sign stealing is one thing, bro. But like, fucking, you know, installing cameras and shit like that, like that's how insecure you were about like winning World Series. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean that is weird. I mean, there's a lot of people cheating and doing a lot of weird things in baseball, you know. But it's uh, that's, I mean, if you're installing cameras and shit, I mean, you got to be knowing that you're doing the wrong thing right. there. And, and I mean, it, and it goes even further, dude, because I mean, it's like, you know, everyone painted Kershaw as like this guy who chokes in the postseason when like, you know, it's it's really like it begs the question, like, did this guy really choke or did this, you know, it was just a matter of people seeing what he was going to do next. Well, he, he, he choked this past season, so, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, but I mean, you never know, like, if that was because, you know, his mind was just fucked after the past two World Series. I hope Kershaw dies. <laughs> Why do you guys hate on him? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck, Fuck Kershaw. Fuck Kershaw and his asshole. Fuck him. Kershaw's my boy. I feel sure bad for him now. I'm sure he is. You know, maybe maybe they know. You know, I, I I think they wouldn't release him for no reason. Maybe they think something did go on and they're still investigating it, possibly. Hmm. Well, it could be a tactic to just sweep it under the rug. Who knows? That too. I don't know, man. Like I, I, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like it's, it's weird. I know that it's it's a weird fucking situation. But uh, whatever. Fuck it. Get out of here. You know, get the fuck out of here. Now I'm gonna have to hear more <laughs> about oh Boston. It's like he didn't even cheat on the Red Sox. I feel like more people are talking about the Red Sox cheating than anything, and the whole thing comes from the Astros. What the fuck? 
Yeah, it's weird. And just imagine what you're going to hear from Yankees fans, bro. Well, you the Yankees, no, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter because they're huge cheaters. And not only that, but for, till the by the way, baseball's retarded because um, the Yankees and the Red Sox have the biggest payrolls in like baseball and like the biggest scumbags. Like you know, the Yankees have won the most championships. Well, no shit, they have the biggest payroll. They better have won the most championships. Well, you guys now have the biggest payroll, don't you? I thought that, that I don't know uh, changed with the Red Sox. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Well, okay. hey, I mean, listen, man. At least, you, at least you guys got your World Series, man. I, I would fucking love to have been accused for cheating in a, in a World Series at least. I'd you love to. Fucking Dodgers do that, please. I'm going to cheat on Leah with your girlfriend. How about that? I'm going to cheat on Leah with your girlfriend. Oh. That little fucking honey in all your photos Works. on Instagram Jeez. that I've been whacking it to. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <Fucking nice. laughs> have you seen his girl, uh, d- dummy? I have, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, I make sense. What do you think about her? I guess I'd whack it too. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> what is. <laughs> oh, so is that what uh, this is going to be about? I didn't know this. Start was... talking about my girlfriend here? <laughs> I mean, I did not know that was. <laughs> I didn't think That's he would actually answer that. I thought he'd be like, no, I'm not going to go there or whatever. That it was going to be a fag about it, huh? Yeah, yeah he was really not into more. answering that. <laughs> Oh, I was on the ball. That was weird that you answered that, to be honest. It's okay, D. It's fine. Now Leah's jumping in on the fucking Skype fight. JB, why don't you call in and yell at D Moon on the show and actually make this a throwdown instead of typing? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> don't be surprised if he goes and kills all of the Red Sox upper staff in the next couple days. <laughs> For real. God. I think he's gonna go to Boston, dude, and just fucking. I don't be the next white guy to shoot everybody. <laughs> no, see, I don't. <laughs> he's gonna think they all look like deer. <laughs> I don't think JB yeah, will do that. On the news, a uh, man by the name of Justin Bailey. See, I don't think you're gonna see that, but I. Well, he might. He might. I mean, you might see that, but what you'll definitely see is he may get banned on Twitter. Because this is one of those times where he just goes into a complete fucking rage on Twitter. And he's like, you think this is fucking funny? Why would you fire you faggot fucking whatever the... And he just says this horrible shit. And then he gets reported and then he's gone. Yeah. That's what... He that's doesn't want that to happen, happen again. But that's what will happen. like Because that's what happens every other time. You know what I mean? Because he just can't... Yeah. He loses his mind. He can't control himself. Which I totally understand. Because I've done that too. And that's how I got... I mean, it's sort of how I got banned on Twitter, but I mean, the real reason is because I said MTV hates white people, which is weird, but that's the real reason. <laughs> that's I mean, kind of stupid. I that's kind of dumb. Get banned for telling the truth. Look at that. And Troy's here. Demigod? What are you what fucking... Troy? Did you... Why did you call... You're calling <laughs> you yourself the... that last time? No, you're calling yourself the Demigod in the Discord? You call yourself God. No, That's pe- what Onision's name is uh, no, on pe- Twitter, isn't it? People call me God. Yeah, he stole my thing. People call me God. What? Who calls you God? I don't I know. Do. And you can't count your kids. No, they don't call me. To that. Do that. That's like I, a cult. I used to pray to him every night before bed. No, I mean I'm no, <laughs> I'm definitely I'm the God of cocksuckers. How about that? <laughs> I thought that was uh, Bailey. No, he was the king. Yeah, you're thinking of Leah. No, I'm just kidding. Uh no. So how's the new uh, laptop uh, looking? You got the new laptop set up. It looks. Is it nice? Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's nice. It's got a bunch of buttons and touchpad and a, and a camera. We'll see if we can get that to work. It's good buttons. Oh. Oh wow. Buttons. So uh, you think? Uh, is, uh, are you going to be able to be on camera at some point? Is nope. that what this is going on? Not today, but. What was that? What'd you say? Sorry, I turned it down by accident. So you're going to be able to be on camera someday? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty hot. I enjoy... The best was when you were over here. The difference between when Troy is over my house and when Drew was over my house is, like, the whole time Drew was here, he he was, like, like his lips were drooling. Like he was thirsty for (laughs) cock. It was very... Does Troy suck you off too, or is it just no, no, not at all. No, Troy's not like that. Troy, you would think that Troy would be more like that because he's more of the left leaning guy. So he's more the guy that you would think, you know, oh, you know, hey, you know, gays are good, and I love gays, and you know, you know, 
uh, Drew is more like well, the. I, you know, I don't, I don't really I don't, like that. I don't that. love gays. I like gays. They're okay. But you're supposed <laughs> well, you're supposed to love them though. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm not a gay. To. The gays are supposed to love the gays. Well, the straights <laughs> like the gays. The strays are just supposed to not to hate the gays. You don't have to love the gays. No, nowadays you gotta like really love them. Well, then I guess I'm a conservative. <laughs> <laughs> clip it, clip it. Hey, bros, I'm a... moving to Canada. Well, they... <laughs> if you got a dick, I'll follow you. There it is. <laughs> that fucking sound clip, dude. That's one of the greatest <laughs> clips of all time, Drew. Look at that. If you got a dick, I'll follow you. <laughs> if you got it's a, a dick, I'll follow you. If you got a dick, I'll follow you. Dude, we must have played that 700 times on Corrupted because it was way too funny. Oh, look at that. Troy does yes, have a camera. Wow. You look like you're in like a police room, like about to be interrogated for something. No, it's just my <laughs> bedroom. Just drab green. It's oh, yeah. depressing. Time to white balance that motherfucker. Man, you look like, uh, you look like, kind of look like, what wrestler does Troy look like right now? He looks like, uh, the guy that moved to the, I can't see. To, Should to I the, call on Skype? If you want to, but he, you'll see it in a minute. He looks like the guy who went to, um, God damn it, Europe, UK. He was in, um, that, he was in that group. Oh, the... People, uh, I people, don't know. I haven't seen wrestling in a while, but I think no. I know what you're talking about. He not, was in the. Uh, no, not he was Rowan. In the, what's that crazy group? Yeah, exactly. Sanity. Sanity. There you go. Mm. Killian was, Dane, right? Killian Dane. Yeah, he looked like Killian Dane. Just a uh, two hundred pounds lighter. Killian Dane. That's a that's a name. Yeah. I don't that's know. A you, nice beard. Troy. That sounds like a horse. Like, uh, yeah, give me uh, Secretariat and Killian Dane. Yeah, I'll take a Killian Dane. Uh, yeah, well, like Harry, like one too. Look at the, I think it's the beard. That's really what's like. That's what's telling me. Yeah, he and I uh, don't. We we have the same problem. We don't uh, oil regularly. Yeah, don't take good care of it. That's what happens. It just gets fuzzy and grows out. I think it's the beard that mostly looks like you. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Underneath, I, I don't think so much. Right, I agree, but not quite you. Maybe when I was a little fatter. You actually look... He's got the puffier cheeks. You look more like European Norse or something than he does. You know? No, no, thank you. I appreciate that. There you go. He's a fake. Yeah, that beard is too identical, though. Yeah, it's, isn't that weird? Like, it's like, that's the beard it's right like, there. Oh, it's the same fucking beard. Look at that. The fuck? That's fucking crazy. Well, the common answers before were always, uh, what's it, Luke Bryan and... Uh, Ron Strowman. Yeah. The top the top part of your beard looks better. Like around your mustache, it looks way better than his. Yeah, little Zeb Coulter. <laughs> yeah, the mustache I've been going a lot uh, longer. That's been, uh, you get the curls going and stuff like that. So do you like it when it gets stuff gets stuck up there? Or? Oh, uh, it's nice sometimes. Depends on what it is. If it's, you know, some dry stuff, some popcorn, maybe some stuff you can save for later, that's fine. But like soup is a pain in the ass. Soup is the Super ultimate villain to be. Super Party. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. My yeah. bad. <laughs> but um, we got more yes. coming. I got more coming though. Don't worry. I got more coming. I got more coming for that. Uh. <laughs> 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 Fuzzy Tube? Is that what really how oh, you pronounce his name? Yeah, Fuzzy. Yeah, what? You didn't know that? I thought it was Fou Fouzy or whatever. No, it's Fuzzy Tube. You well, you're an idiot. God well, I don't fucking follow YouTube. What the hell do you want me to think? You know what? Nobody. I'm I, actually happy. I don't know that. I think no. I do. I just know it because the song. I don't even know who that guy is. Where am I living? Whoa. Oh. Where am I living? Oh. Where am I living? Right now. Gobble my knob. Gobble my knob. Diddle my temple. Whoa. Diddle my temple. Poke my belly. Poke my belly. Butter up my teddy bear. Butter my teddy bear. <laughs> Gobble my knob. Gobble my knob. Yankee Doodle's little balls are in my sphincter. 
Just <laughs> kidding. Lick my skin. Wow. That is got to be one of the funniest, weirdest fucking things I've heard all week. Dude. Butter my teddy bear. Gobble my knob, Yankee Doodle's balls, and my sphincter. Like, what did he say at one point? Butter my, like, stuffed bear's belly button? What the fuck did Super he... Chat. Super Chat. Super Chat. Let's go. All right, well, listen. Psych Ward patient, thanks for the 1050. At least his name was on it. Um, That's appropriate. Mets win again. Thanks for the $2 super chat. What's going on, everybody? Alex Kors fired. Yeah, so then just kind of like bouncing around in these topics. And I think we'll just bounce around all the topics around throughout the, the whole fucking show. Um, if my computer doesn't freeze on me because it's looking pretty shaky right now. Um, we talked about Alex Cora, but I, have you heard this Onision thing, uh, Troy? Have you seen my video on the Onision thing? Nope. I still kind of, I always forget. He was a vlogger, right? Right. Well, maybe child predator. Yeah, he's the guy that maybe. did I'm a Banana. Oh, there was something what he called. I saw the headline. I always see the headlines. Would he called the cops on Chris Hansen or something? Yeah, so <laughs> they've been investigating him for like a while now. And he, every year he's got, you know, people make hundreds of videos about him, about him being creepy or whatever. You know, whatever the fuck. But no, nothing ever, like, fully concrete comes out. The only thing that comes out is, like, yes, that's weird. Like, you can agree that that's weird. He seems creepy. And he might be worse. But, you know, and there's some really... There is some bad stuff out there, but I just don't remember what it is off the top of my head. So I don't want to talk about it because I don't know the facts. But the fact is, a lot of other people, you know, think he's definitely this groomer, you know, so, so like, you know, essentially like getting in with people when they're 15 and 16 and then by the time Just they're with Drake. Yeah, exactly. I mean, dude, like that's the funny thing is like all these rappers and stuff, they're doing it like crazy. Nobody gives a shit. This guy's doing it and it's like, oh my God, or we, people think he's doing it and it's the, it's unbelievable, but uh, maybe he's a creepo. I don't know. But Chris Hansen now is involved, which is weird because it's almost like Chris Hansen. What does he not have a show anymore? So he came to YouTube to try to keep doing his show is that what's going on yeah he does like weird like podcast like interviews now with people generally so his like career's over so he's just on youtube yeah practically <laughs> there's there's only so many times you can fool a pedophile well that's yeah that's the well you think that's what it is i don't know i mean like <laughs> i'm not a tv <laughs> producer <laughs> There's only Joe's so many about that. Like, well, you think that's what well, it is? Well, because wouldn't you keep doing this? Wouldn't there? Why wouldn't there still be a show? Why wouldn't there still be? You know, I mean, don't, don't people like watching pedophiles and the rapist of kids get fucking handcuffed? I mean, don't we like this? Why did that show yeah, not keep Chris going? Yeah, Chris Hansen's a child predator. Yeah, like why the, didn't he keep the, going? The problem is getting the pedophiles because eventually they're like, "Let's see some ID," and you're like, "I'm 14." Well, fuck you then. Yeah. Well, there you go. I guess, but. You know, I think Chris Hansen, you know, I, I was making a joke the other day about Hansen. I made a joke in my video and um, this fucking guy was like stupid guy in the chat was like, so are you saying that like, you know, you don't like that he busts pedos or whatever? It's like, it's like I made a joke. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, like the, the point of my show or the point of me is to make fun of everything. So, you know, we start off the show and I say, listen to this and I'll show you the, the comment and the guy's like emailing me now. This guy's fucking emailing. Dude, all I've learned, I've learned this over the last eight years, but I've really learned, especially I'm learning more and more recently that people are nuts. Like a lot of people are nuts. Listen to this. Lettuce. <laughs> yeah, if we're doing that, I mean, or if you want to come on and just do uh, Morning Madness, this is my 200th episode today, so I might, mer I don't know if maybe we can merge them or something, I don't know. But yeah, dude, Hanson, what is he, wonder what he does, because he's got to be a fucking weird person too, right? To be obsessed. Like, really, like, I mean, doesn't it feel like he, he seems creepy? Like, why do you care so much, you psycho? <laughs> Like obviously that's a joke, right? Like 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 Chris Hansen seems like a creepo. Like why do you care so much, you psycho? You know, like like that's funny. Like the guy's trying to bust child molesters, and it's like you're criticizing him for being crazy or something. Like that's funny. You know what the problem is he he thinks he's doing a good job. He thinks he's doing a good job by locking him up and putting him away. But yeah. he's really he's like antibacterial soap. Like he's just he's making super predators. He's making them evolve and be stronger and have better tactics. Yeah, he's really not helping anyone. Now they have to kill people and stuff. 
You know, like, but no, honestly, dude, all joking aside, I was joking kind of about that. But at the same time, it is, he is obsessed about this. And um, here's another thing about this. I, I guess his wife left him. I wouldn't be surprised. And you know what I mean? Some guy who's this obsessed about pedos and stuff like that and his wife leaves him. I mean, he's a, he is a weird dude. Like it's not, and, but, but anyway, so I made that joke and I'm trying to find this guy's, here's the guy's replies. Uh, this guy wrote, this guy, uh, what the fuck's his name? Chris Fragger. I mean, you, I mean, you might as well just call yourself the N word at this point. Um, but no, he, oh. he goes, uh, I don't even know what that means. He goes, wait, is this guy, is this guy against Chris for taking pedos to task? That's what I, cause I, cause I was like, you know, I, mean, I think he's a crazy person. So he goes, yeah. Is this guy against Chris for taking pedos to task? So then I wrote, well, I said, no, LOL. Then he wrote, well, it sounded like you were. Uh, it's uh, No, it sounded like you were mocking Chris there at the start. <laughs> it's like, I was. Onision and Hanson are both weirdos. It's comedy. And then he wrote, oh, yes, Someone dedicating their lives to helping saving children is a weirdo. You're so much better than them. And then I'm like, when the fuck did I say I was better than this guy? <laughs> you fucking idiot. Like, when no, did it went, a weird fuck. What a weird to, thing to jump to. You think you're better than them. What? I don't think I'm better. Than, it's a joke, you fucking idiot. I want to know what Chris Fragger 1 looks like in real life. Because I bet Chili looks like a fucking mongoloid's dildo. I mean, like, you. how do you not understand that that's a joke? Or whatever. But whatever. And then he doesn't get... Then he says, oh, you're so much better. I'm not better? What the uh, fuck? I don't... Not better? Or I don't even know who he is. It's a joke, you dickhead. You gonna be okay? What's wrong with people in this world nowadays? You're one of those trolls that just pretends to be a moron because that's how you troll. I, you yeah. know... To be if, a moron, not realizing that you're actually a moron. You know... It, be one of those situations. Maybe, but... I don't think so because you know if I'd recognized that or he had like no profile picture, I'd have been like, oh yeah, this is some fucking idiot or younger person. But like the guy's got a picture, you know. I looked at some of his other comments on his other things, and he's not. He's just a regular person. He's just retarded. That's what he wants you to think. I mean, sometimes people do. They troll like on purpose. Like I'm gonna get them pissed by saying this. I get it because I do the same thing. But that is. I think that guy's serious. He's probably serious. He sounds I, like a piece of shit. And I think he lives in your neighborhood, <laughs> Troy. Oh, great. Yeah. So get ready. All right, is that where the oh. idiots live? Speaking of <laughs> our neighborhood, I was watching an episode of uh, Doomsday Preppers yesterday. My roommate was telling me about there's a guy on it that actually was from Somerville. And it turns out the guy, like, like had a mail order bride from Colombia, and she's like, "I left my family, like my mother and my <laughs> father and my daughter, to come here." I was like, "Wait a minute! Did she just say your daughter? Like, she left her daughter Whoa. as well to like come marry this guy?" It's like, "Yeah, I think she's gonna be a great prepper because you know her life in Venezuela was already pretty bad, so it's you know it's like being a prepper for growing up, and it was ridiculous." So like he. The first time he met is he ships her up here and they get married like a week later he and he has like up. a bug out drill and drives her to upstate New York. Like the poor girl probably thought she was going to get murdered by this fucking weirdo. Turns out he lives like he lived like five blocks away. I assume he's in jail by now. For he looks like a weird fuck. Wait, I know which one you're talking about. What? Did you look him up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's he look like? Uh, oh, I found the picture. Uh, it's like I think it's Doomsday Preppers. It's like season two. But just Google Doomsday. Oh, fuck. What's the guy's name? I gotta remember it. I can't remember. Venezuela. He's looking. <laughs> it up. I'll find it. In Venezuela, we beat our meat to the fucking pictures Super of our jet. family members. Super jet. The plainest room award goes to Troy. Congrats. <laughs> Casey is. If you wrong. only knew what the rest of the room looked like. Is there just shit all over the place? Brian Murdoch. Brian Murdoch. I'll drop a link in the Discord to a news article about it. Murdoch. Um, preppers. So is your room just covered in shit, like all over the place? Oh, yeah, it's awful. Is this this kind of chubby guy? 
Yeah, chubby hair with some weird fucking like hair. He, like he wants to be in cold chamber. Yeah, he looks, imagine so. if imagine if uh, Himmelfarb wasn't successful. It would be this guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you got nice. a dick, I'll follow you. Uh, <laughs> she was clumped. Where is Common Joe? Is Himmel God in the chat? Hey, Himmel God, did you hear that? Himmel God's back, you know. He's been in the chat saying hi. Oh, shit, dude. You know that, Troy? Did you know that? I'm still jumping around. First did, did you know that uh, did I know it? Himmel God no. is back? He's been in the chat. He's said hi a couple times He's in the chat. He's back. He's back. I'm only like, I'm still I'm still working up the laptop here. I, I had to figure out how. I, it's been so long since I had like a legitimate computer. Like I was looking around for stuff in the store, and I'm like, how do I install stuff? Oh yeah, you have to like download installs from like websites and shit. Oh yeah, it's legitimately been like a decade since I've had a computer. Wow, that's crazy. Um, Jabroni it's Jabber, what up? Preppers man? are weird. Yeah, well, I prep. That's the way they look. I'm not like prepped. I'm I'm like slightly prepped. I have like, I have the type of prep of like, I'm not prepping for doomsday. I'm prepping for like a problem. Like, that's my problem, is I'm not prepping for doomsday, I'm prepping for a problem. I have, like, you know, three months of food and water that I'm going to have. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, like, the truck slowed down or blew up or, like, something crazy happened that slowed everything down, you know what I mean? Like, that it really could happen. Something could happen, and the trucks aren't going to make it to your area, and your places won't have food and shit. And... If these people weren't preppers, I would think they were going to shoot up a fucking school, dude. God oh, some the of them. Fuck? The one guy on the same episode it was like, he looks like a methed out like yeah. a fuck <laughs> addict. I just said but the turns out he's the most that. prepped one because he has like shit tons of ammo and like and then in the end they buy his X factor is he's gonna buy like this crate, this like you know like the the storage like uh, shipping containers you buy to like move shit in and then they ship it for you. He's gonna buy one of those and bury it in his backyard. I mean, then the guy pulls up to sell him like the thing. He's like, I was hoping maybe a white one to do some bartering. The guy's like, Oh yeah, I could, I could do some bartering. What do you got? He's like, Well, I got a bug out vehicle, and then maybe some gold or silver. He's like, All, all right, can we take a look at it? What, what kind of bug out? He's like, Oh, it's four by four. You know, good for getting out of there. And, and then he's showing him like his like gold, like that's a gram. You know, <laughs> each one of these is worth sixty dollars in the current economy. But, but, that's like a shit plan, though, because who's going to want to trade for gold in the post economy? You're not going to be fucking building microchips and shit. That's still going to be as worthless as the paper money, except you can't burn it. That's anyway, what, they that... judged the fact that. Oh, wait, wasn't that <clears throat> the fucking funniest thing was I just remembered the guy from Somerville, his fear. Uh, keep in mind, this this uh, this episode was from like 2003. His fear was a war with Iran. His that was his fucking fear. I totally just fucking remembered that. Fucking like seven, eight years ago, his fear was a war with Iran. And they were like, that seems unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I mean, obviously, that's what everybody's been looking for. Like, like you know, Russia, Iran, um, and the Ukraine situation. Like, before, even before Trump was in office, we were all talking about that. We were like, oh, man, Hillary's going to get us into war like fucking Iran and Russia. Like, we've been talking about that then because Obama and them... We're saying it was coming like and they were going to they were going to push our forces over there. And they were like, what will happen if we do that? Oh, we'll have we'll be probably at war with Russia and Iran. And then Obama and them were like, well, fuck it. We're doing it. We're probably going to do it. You know, it's like this has been going on. You know, this is just I wouldn't be surprised if Putin, Putin's probably laughing. He probably was like, yeah, like because then he can watch what we do and they do like and he can just without any casualties of his own. Because we got to fight. video is a. Uh... A video I thought uh, Putin and Assad laughing. Oh, really? I bet they were. <laughs> oh, man. They were jerking off. They had, like, so many dead bodies, they were jerking them off. Guys, another day in the Jeez. books. And uh, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. And I hope everybody... <laughs> oh, cleaning up my system there. Oh. Uh, shout out to the girdles. Uh, uh, shout out to the girdles. Why, like, like I know that we've asked him this already, so it's like no real mystery. But why would you fart and then at some point say "shout out to the girdles" right after it? What does that have to even do? He doesn't know. He just says random shit. You know, we should drop him on Iran. 
<laughs> a lot of damage. Should, we should drop your we should drop your brain on a college campus. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. We can do experiments on it. Uh, shout out to the girdles. Uh, wow! Shout out to the girdles. You would really do that. Well, Are you sure he didn't say shout out to the turds? No, he said girdles. Girdles. Let me tell you, I have uh, breaking news on Onision. So I reached out to Onision. You know, you, you ever, you ever, you ever hear a good cop, bad cop? You know what I mean? Like this guy, Chris yeah. Hansen's banging on his door. He's coming after him. All these things. You know, maybe he wants to. My theory is this. My theory, because Chris Hansen said, like, see, he's not in a hotel and none of this stuff is going down. So he, he did exactly what I said. I said this one day out loud, but I was kind of like, whatever. I mean, nobody's going to hear what I say. But I said it out loud. I'm like, dude, I think he went to the hotel to film all this craziness on purpose. So he had a bunch of videos from this hotel so he could sell the idea that him and his wife broke up and she took the kid and all that type of stuff so that he could, you know, keep them out of it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like protect them. I mean, I kind of thought that from the beginning. Right. Okay. So yeah, a lot like, of people probably thought that was like, cause I would like, that's what you would do to protect your family. Like, right. Even if he, if he, if he's a scumbag and he's fucking a sick fuck and he should go to jail or if he's a normal, whatever he is, whether it's, it's, he's guilty of this or not, you know, you probably would still protect your family. So he obviously made that up to try to like get most of the trolls out there to think, you know, his wife is gone and all these other things. Um, and maybe they would drop it because a lot, one thing a lot of people would always say is like, we need to get that kid out of his house. You know, we need to take his kids away. He needs to get his kids taken away. People need to know that what this guy does and he's got a kid in the house. He's got kids in the house. Eh. Yeah. Which, they say all kinds of things about you. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 You would really do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you psycho. are fucked. But yeah, so, you know, obviously he was like, well, how can I get that to stop? And how can I get people to stop reporting me about it and everything? These days? Well, I'll just try to, you know, create the idea that my family, that she left me. Now I don't have my kid here, which is a great idea because then you can build the narrative of like, I'm single, I'm alone, I got nothing going on. And he really is having problems because he lost his thing. But but Chris Hansen went and was like, no, she was there. The kids are there. It's all a bullshit lie. So he went. He ousted him on that, which is like weird because like even though you know Onision might be a big piece of shit and whatever, you know you can un you can at least like sort of like agree that hey yeah I like yeah keep that going so people think that your kid ain't there. Um, but Chris, you know because Chris Hansen knows now. Oh yeah, his wife is there. His kid is there. You know, so but now you just told all the crazy people and the trolls out there. Um, so I think that that's that was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. Onision is uh, in some shit. So good cop, bad cop, right? The bad cop is Hanson. All he wants to do is find out how he's a molester and all these things. Everybody else is coming at Onision with all kinds of shit. Well, Onision, you know, before we knew about any of this shit, you know, before I knew he was a creepo fuck or whatever, which I, I still don't know the proof yet on what's gone on. He was on the, he's been on uh, one podcast with me and that was over a year ago. So I'm like, yeah, I was like, well, I wonder what's going on with this fucking guy. So somebody reached out to me and they were like, you should fucking hit him up and see if he'll come on your show. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm like, I don't want him on my show. That's like being like, Let's get the most hated, awful person to come on my show. Like, and if it turns out that the guy is really like a fucking like he's like does shit with kids, if that really comes out that that's true, would you want to fucking <laughs> like? Would you want to be like? I mean, no. I think he's been on Keemstar's show a bunch of times. I think he's been on H three H three. But I am surprised that somebody hasn't gotten this guy on his show. But that's what Chris Chris Hansen wants to do is interview this guy. He wants to interview Onision. Um, yeah, and you don't want to be on Chris Hansen's show. No, <laughs> but it's not. It's not like he's not Why coming not? in. He's not coming in with the cops or anything like that. And by the way, Chris Hansen said the cops are fully aware of all this stuff with him. Like they they get calls all the time and shit like that. Imagine being that that police the police agency over there. They're like, ugh, great. 
every day someone calls in about this guy. Like I mean, legit. What we, like every day they get they get call, they get calls over on, at the police station where he lives now. They probably ignore most of them. They have to because what is I mean I mean I get, they can't but they kind of do. You know what I mean? Like what are they gonna do? If there if there's really yeah. something going on, like you know, let's like come on, let's what what's going on? You know. Don't mm-hmm. isn't if something's going on, you're going to get in trouble. Where's the trouble? Where there's an FBI investigation that's already gone on. That's going on, I guess. So if that's going on, you know, what it what, what, what <laughs> why the fuck? I mean, like I but if you're innocent, you'd want the investigation at this point, right? Like if you're Onision, don't you want the investigation at this point? If you're innocent? Yeah. Because, right, because you need to, now it's like, well, the fucking public opinion is I am this person. So, like, please investigate me. Yes, investigate me. Like, I mean, I'm wondering, I don't know what the law, I don't 100% know the law. I don't know if, if, if he's messaging someone at 16, like, or 15 years old and saying, and by the way, what's the legal age in Washington? Isn't it 16? Probably that's what it usually is, right? That's not a, that's not really a subject you want to be an expert on. <laughs> well, that's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> I was like, I, I know off the top of my head, it's uh, sixteen. I was in Washington last week, and uh, yeah, I have no idea because why would you know that? I don't. Well, I'm asking. Uh, that's what I mean. I, I think that the age is sixteen in Washington. So now, if you're telling me that this guy's messaging fourteen year olds and saying like. Hey, you looked beautiful on this photo. Like, uh, you know, we should stay in touch until you're like 18 or until you're 16. We should stay in touch until you're old enough to come hang out. Maybe you could come hang out with me and my wife. Now, if you send that to a 14 year old and say, hey, we should stay in touch until you're 16 or something like that. Is that against the law? Mm-hmm. Oh, Dead serious? Uh, like, is that, I'm asking. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's borderline though. If it's not, that, that but that's sounds, what I'm uh, saying. Like, that's why it's, it's like, like I don't pushing it, dude. Yeah. I don't know. There's some answers you don't want to know, and there's some <laughs> questions you don't want to ask. You found both of them tonight in a short time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I don't just want to answer either of those. I'm just things. trying to figure out what he could get in trouble for because honestly, I'm anno- I'm like getting sick of hearing about it. Like. Either like he di- he's done something like what what are you waiting for, or you're harassing this guy who didn't do anything. One of the two. Well, what, I mean, what's happening? You also have to keep in mind that people that are pushing the narrative with this guy have like hated him for years now. So like, I mean, I think the reason why you're hearing about it so much now is because they finally got what they wanted, which is him like his channel or whatever his uh, Patreon taken down. Right. Well, his YouTube has been fucked a little bit. It's creepy as shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, if that was my kid, I mean, I'm coming to Washington to, to fucking mangle him. You know? Right. Like, if, if twenty, like, how old is he? Like thirty. If thirty year old gr- somebody is messaging my fourteen year old girl, like, hey, we should stay in touch for years until you're eighteen or sixteen or whatever, like. I'm I'm like fucking hijacking her computer and being like, you know what though we should hang out like just to, like anyway, like I'll it, meet you down at the park yeah. around the alley at two a.m. I'll meet you on the <laughs> swings. Alone. I'll meet you on the swings at two a.m. I'll be in a trench coat, <laughs> <laughs> holding the baseball bat. I'll That's be, how you know it's me. I'll be Negan, and I'd come heart out of heart emoji, the- heart emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'd Motherfucker. come. Motherfucker! Oh wait, delete, 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 delete. I would come out Honey. of the woods, and I'd beat the shit out of this guy. Like it would be, oh man, like I don't know. And then you know the thing is, then you'd be in trouble though. But some guy got yeah. off for that uh, actually. Like last year, there was some guy that yeah, he like caught like a family. That was different. That was you know, over like on top of his daughter, and he beat him to fucking death, and he ended up. He, they found him not guilty. That was different because, yeah, he was like doing the girl. Or oh, doing yeah, the but family. that premeditated. Yeah, yeah, you get in trouble for that. Yeah. yeah, like, oh, I'm gonna meet you, and here's the emails, and then you go, like, yeah, you'd be, you'd be in trouble for that. You'd be breaking the law more, I guess. 
But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, but I don't know if I couldn't. I don't know what I would. I would just. I'd start losing my mind. I would. I would just flip the hell out. I, or you know, or or like I would go and scare the hell out of him. One of the. You know, I'd probably do that. I'd be like, all right, you didn't do anything yet. So I'm just gonna go there and send the message. Like I, I'd grab him by his hair and like cut off half his hair, and then like you know just scare the shit out of him. You know, and then it's like I don't you do like the uh, you do like the Inglorious Bastards. You carve the the swastika into his forehead. Except you just oh. carve Pedo into his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, no! I'd be like, see, I'd be like, see your wife. Like, do you know how many people that I've taken and like disappeared? Like, uh, your wife will disappear. You know, I don't know. That would be insane. I'd probably like torture him a little bit, like with like like some like like something like a uh, scissors or something. I don't know. Oh. Nuts. Okay. If you're in your 30s and you're trying That's to terrible. meet 16 year olds, you deserve to get your I... shit handed to you. Uh, yeah, I mean, but again, he's do. That's what he. That's what he's doing. I guess that's what he's definitely, apparently, they're saying doing. But even that, right? Even that isn't illegal. I don't think. I mean, unless there's. I mean, technically, it's not, but. We you know Again. there's something wrong with it, but like yeah. technically it's not illegal now until they pass the until they pass um grooming laws. You know that's what they're gonna have to do if if they're worried about the internet the way it's I mean the internet's we've been worried about internet predators forever, but if you're really worried about it now to where there's like a real major issue with grooming going on grooming everywhere grooming whatever, um, you know, then you need to create grooming laws like basically the you know. I don't know, but what do you do? Then people can it's, still be vague about it and be talking to people. That's probably already. Is there really no grooming laws or anything like that? Like, it, I don't know. I feel like that would like fit under something. Like, it no, has to. there's got to be. I think it. I think it has to be like your intent. Even like you're not even that in trouble for intent to meet with a minor. Like you have to be. It has to be some. You actually have to do something. You know what I mean? Like that's fu- It's crazy. Wow. It's like it's like it's like somebody breaking in your house sometimes. Somebody breaks in your house and they have like a crowbar and they're looking to steal your shit and then you, you, like you crack them over the head with a bat and like then they defend that like the guy made a mistake where he was or something. And it's like no, you The cat's a law. That's what you're yeah. looking for. And yeah, the and but you're like I don't know what you're here for. I, I thought you're I you know, you could have been here to kill me. I don't know. I don't know why you're breaking into my house and you have a crowbar. You know, or you have a weapon you know it's just weird it's like but they it's almost like you have to let them do it like you have to let them like hurt you like first like okay they hurt me yeah some places you got the duty to retreat yeah you gotta run away if you can and it's like it's the same thing with the best buy in the stores story the other day the lady that got fired for chasing the guy out the store because it's different if you're in a store in a best buy and someone steals a laptop and runs away it's like I, the store's policy is like just let them go and report it and whatever. Like you don't don't get killed or get somebody killed, whatever. And but but it's different when it's your personal home, and this guy grabs your grandfather's purple heart and runs out with it. You know what I mean? And you're like, you know what I mean? You, you're not fuck that guy up. Yeah, you're gonna go <laughs> fucking shove the purple heart up his ass. But uh, yeah, yeah, and it's fucked because. The fucking the people who like steal things from retail stores, if they get like tackled or like injured anyway, anyway, they can still sue the retail store technically, even though yeah, they're right. stealing something. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Which is hard to, even to begin with. Yeah, I mean, because they could be like, oh, you know, I needed this really badly, and uh, or, or like I wasn't stealing, I was just looking at it, and then I got distracted and walked out the door, and or I thought I bought it, and then this guy broke my arm. You know, and then and then they and then in court they go, well, the policy is, you know, in your store, the policy is that, you know, you you wouldn't attack or run after or anybody. You you know, why? would So why would your employee do that? Did they break your policy? Yeah, they did. Like, wouldn't you have, wouldn't it be better to have questioned Mr. Whatever the fuck? And, and maybe he would have then would have realized that like, he hadn't paid for it and come back in the store. You didn't even give him that option. You just tackled him and assaulted him and ended up breaking his arm. You know, like, so then they win money. It's fucking, it is crazy. You know what? Enjoy this. Yeah. Oh. Uh. What if the turkeys ate us? Look at that. What if they played us? What if they killed us? <laughs> 
and eight our children. What if the turkeys ate us? What if they filleted us? If the turkeys ate us, if they had to hate us, the Thanksgiving was a little bit different. Instead, the turkeys ate us. They gobbled us apart. But first, they'd eat our nuts. And then they'd eat our butt. The turkeys ate us. What if, what if, what if the turkeys ate us? Please get JB on the call and let him freak out. Please, lol. Well, um, you know, we tried to do that to get uh, JB on the call, but uh, he's actually at work right now. Shell, what up? Thank you can you, see Shell. him die tomorrow. He's probably going to do it. He's probably, yeah. yeah. You'll see him on the news tomorrow. Red Sox fan in Indiana kills himself. <laughs> Telling you, man. Sure, next uh, mass shooter. Houston will be uh, plastering across the news, do anything they can. <laughs> Did you say he's the next mass shooter? I'm telling you, dude. Shell, go thank insane. You. Jesus. That is. That is fucked up. That is really fucked up. So, so you, I mean, with this, like, Obesity on stuff. Super you, chat. Uh, so Troy's room is so you're white. Good. It's racist. Yeah. <laughs> Troy, you're white. Yeah, actually, room. they call this uh, shade JB Green. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of have a tint to it. Super chat. Speaking of grooming, Joe's stash is sus, eh? F. <laughs> Suspect as fuck. I agree with you. I hate this fucking look. I hate this. I've said this a million times. I don't like it. Leah the likes dirtbag? it. No, the, it you I don't like it. it. You, it's perfect. No, I don't like it. I'm a... Like... I've always liked the. I've always been somebody who likes complete clean shaven face. You know what I mean. If I had my way, I'd have long hair. I'd look super emo. I'd be I'd have long hair, and I'd have clean face. But yeah, Leah likes this, so this is what my wife likes. So it's this is how it is. You know, I don't like it. I I don't I don't like this. I when I see guys like this, I think ugh. But now now I look like that. But it's just it is what it is. I guess. Hey, you'll do you'll do anything if they'll sit on your face. I'll do anything. But yeah, I agree. It is a All very right. very suspect. Once a mustache ride. The US Navy reportedly has footage and documents related to a UFO video that caused a sensation when it was leaked in 2017, but it won't reveal any of it because releasing the info footage would cause exceptionally grave damage to national security of the United States. Uh, said a spokesperson from the Navy or whatever. So yeah, that's what they always say. This goes back to remember. Remember we saw the footage that they're talking about. Well, the guy who shot the footage of the UFO, which you guys will all remember probably because um, it's insane. Like the Na- what the Navy saw, and we talked about this. But the the Navy has a lot more info, and that's what we're now finding out. The Navy has. A lot more info. And we know they have a lot more info. We already knew they did because the guy who was there said it. He said the crazy thing about the fucking, about the video, because we've all seen it. We've seen the disc shaped things that flip up and then they go boom, boom, boom. And you're like, that's impossible. And that thing is a huge object. That's not normal. They, they perfectly line up with how Bob Lazar described the crafts on Joe Rogan's podcast and since back in the 90s and 80s, since I've been listening to Bob Lazar talk about this, and since other people have talked about this, they perfectly line up with that shit. It's almost unbelievable. Now, the Navy pilot said, the crazy thing isn't what you see in the video. The crazy thing is that there's like a bunch of other objects, these same objects doing the same thing. 
So they're all flying in all together. So you don't see those because his he said the the track the, the video radar or whatever the hell they used here to to zoom in on this thing, they can only track one at a time. They couldn't track multiple objects. They could only track the one at a time because of how it was moving so fast. But if he, as he looked out his cockpit in the sky, he could see the his wide view. There there was a lot of these. And that's what the freaky thing was. And that to me is wild. So and now the Navy's saying there's why would they even say it? I don't know. But it's a little weird. It is weird, but the Navy it's 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 like somebody in the it's like there's a fight going on in the Navy right now where somebody's trying to like show you what's going on, like, hey, like trying to expose this. Anything they can say to get you to think the jets are worth the thirty five billion dollars so you don't get Medicare for all. That's not a bad uh not a bad theory. That's not a bad theory. The object descended from sixty thousand feet to fifty feet in seconds. I don't believe it though. That's fucking insane. I, I do believe Jesus that it's Christ. I, I do believe it happened though, be only because like so many people but then again, it is the government. And, you know, the, Troy makes a good point because a lot of people always feel like... I think I figured like, it out. That's our key. That's the key to the new podcast. We do left-wing conspiracy theories. We get the left-wing people. Yeah. And we get the right-wing conspiracy people. We get we get both sides. Yeah, no, I, I like the idea of that. It's not bad. Like, because the right would say, you know, that all of global warming is a conspiracy. And the, now we can also say that, well, the UFOs, it's all a conspiracy to distract us. Or to make us be like, oh my god, we need to get more planes up there to figure out what's going on. Yes. Have and our... the next episode, we do how it's not, it's it's not a conspiracy that it's real, but the media cover up is the conspiracy. Okay, yeah, the that cover could... up of the cover up. That could work they don't too. Want yeah. You to know about. They I... want you to know about the cover up of the cover up of the cover up. They don't want you to know about the cover up of the cover up. The crazy. <laughs> don't even get me started on the cover up itself. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. The thing that that makes me believe Boots so much in. of it is. Uh, is the fact that these Navy pilots that talk about it and the people like this guy right here, the people that talk about it, they're all in like their 60s now, you know, and they're like serious, normal seeming engineers who like don't even want to like they can't even believe they're talking about it. They're 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 not. It's weird. Like it's that's what makes you believe it. Um, but yeah, man, I, I don't know. I just think I think something might be going on. But that's a great point by Troy, because, yeah, because. Even if I, I see, I would do a, a show on that. I'd do a show on anything because that could be true. The government lies about a lot of shit. People are like, oh, I don't trust the government. They lied about this. They lie about that. Oh, well, they're lying about this too. But then there's other people that would say, well, it's soft disclosure. They're starting to s disclose this stuff because we're getting ready to sort of announce, or you know, eventually this is going to be normal because we figured this out. But what's this? Absolutely extraordinary. The fact that we have military. This guy. The ocean. This guy talking about is insane. He started making the approach to this object, and that's when everything changed. Well, this thing did a barrel roll around his aircraft. Really? It then went straight down to the right, straight down to the surface of the ocean. He went following it down, and as soon as he went like that, this thing popped straight back out of the water, back up to twenty-eight thousand feet. What? Did it make a sound? No, it's completely quiet. You know, something going that fast, it's gonna it's gonna sound like boom, 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 boom. It's gonna have a whole bunch of sonic booms. No sonic booms. No sonic booms hitting the water, coming back up twenty eight thousand feet. That sort of description um, lines up with multiple other engineers in the past, and it also lines up with Bob Lazar, who said that you know these things create their own gravity field or anti gravity field or whatever. So that's why it's like it can go underwater, it can go in space, it can go in the air, it can go whatever. Because it's creating its own field around it. Um, that's just wild shit, bro. That, that stuff super fascinating. That's creepy, me. dude. Yeah. And it was, when was the most recent video taken? That The one that they're always talking about is the one that came out a little while ago, but it's from 2004. Oh, 2004. Okay. That's, that's the one where they really got good shots of it. You know? Who knows how many more there are? And who knows? Because, and remember... Like I, I only go back to Bob Lazar because he said all this shit in the 80s and the early 90s. And you were like, this is just a guy looking for attention, probably. He's kind of weird, you know. Um, but then everything he says kind of 
lines up with all this from guys who seem even more credible and it's like that's weird and is this the is this like is this somebody is this something else that's doing this aliens or whatever the fuck you want to say or an, an animal or something or whatever or is this the government using the ships is it the government testing them out because they found them and now they're they're super testing them because they've been testing them for years trying to get it to work so is this them finally testing them out or is this the aliens or is this something else you know like i don't know or is this all bullshit you know fuck who knows but it's, it's fucking funny. aliens man fucking no doubt. it's fun to talk about though i know that it's fucking aliens it's always aliens it's aliens it's got to be aliens right like seriously i not not that <laughs> you, you know your <laughs> you know your dad was an alien not that not that You know, your dad was an alien uh, dummy, right? No, nah, he probably was. An illegal alien. He wasn't illegal like D-Moon's, though. Oh. <laughs> oh. So, D-Moon, are you upset about Alex Kor? Like, wh- how, how did your your fight go with JB so far? Well, you know him. There's no convincing him. He, you know, when he's right, he's right. But, I mean, like I said, I don't really care too much about the Red Sox side because it doesn't. Ha- nothing's come out yet. I mean, nothing's definitive. All the, uh, the worst thing that they've said so far is sign stealing, but who fucking doesn't do that? Um, I mean, there's just the shit with the Astros kind of pissed me off. Because, I mean, yeah. number one, that was the series that went seven games yep. in the World Series, and, like, who's to say we wouldn't have beaten them earlier than that, you know? Yeah, that slight little advantage, man. That slight little fucking advantage could have done it. It's not like they creamed us in the fucking World Series. <laughs> it was a pretty tight game, all seven games, but, I mean, I would. Uh, I don't know, man. I would cream. It is what it is, though. I'm not going to complain about it like other Dodger fans. Like, dude, you should see my fucking Dodger feed on Twitter. This is nothing but people bitching. Oh, God, they got to be losing their minds. Yeah, I mean, dude, one little edge like this, I mean, has got to send people into, like, a fucking rage. Yeah, so what are they going to do? Like, is that World Series now just null and void now? Like, no, it's still valid. I don't think they have. I mean, they haven't said anything, but I mean, pretty much the the two managers got fired. They're losing out on the 2020 and 2021 draft picks. Yeah, that was. Pretty, um, and then like five million dollar fine. Yeah. First and second round picks for two years. For two years, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Still wear the fur ring. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. I was like, why don't we 80 cheat? 80 years dude? from now, if they don't stick an asterisk next to it, are you going to remember your death bad day? Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Only like those old stubborn fucks are going to probably fuck be like, know. yeah, I, I can't stand them. I don't really care too much about the Red Sox because it's like, uh, thanks. I mean, that's they... a, yeah, good to hear. Well, how do you feel about this, Troy? Like, you're a Red Sox fan, right? I'm still wearing my hat. Yeah, exactly. It, like, it to me, I mean, I'm a, a different kind of fan though. To me, it's it's I root for all the home teams. Like, I made the joke uh, last week when people are talking about the NFL games. It's like they keep playing, like I I stop watching. First off, I just assume that when the Patriots are eliminated, everybody else in the league just takes that as a group victory and stops playing, judging from the way everybody celebrates. But no, I'm not really like a football fan or a baseball fan. I'm a Patriots fan and a Red Sox fan. I grew up watching the Red Sox and the Pats and the Celts and the Bruins. But I don't watch anything else after, so it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm not a Cora fan. I'm a Red Sox fan. I'm, I'm Off the top of my head, I, I don't even know if I can name half the team from last year because I haven't been watching as much lately. But So it doesn't matter to me as much. I'll always just be a fan of the, the team itself. People come and go, I guess. It sucks right. to be labeled a cheater, but uh, for we've been getting it for so many years from the Pats by now, people unjustly. That's the thing that doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter to me what most other people say because they still complain about shit like the flake gate that was proven wrong and didn't matter at all. So people are gonna bitch and moan about stuff when the, they're finally right. What does it even matter? It's like the opposite of the boy who cried wolf. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't think you guys have it as bad as the Astros though, because I mean, nothing's oh, no, really it's been. Oh no, it's definitely way way worse. Yeah. Yeah, nothing's been proven with you guys. I mean, sign stealing. I mean, who fucking doesn't do that? I wouldn't be surprised if the Dodgers did that. But well, I mean, I mean like... everybody still signs. The problem with what the Red Sox did was they used um, the camera to do it. You're not supposed to use technology. Oh, so they did. They did somewhere. confirm that they did use it too. I don't know if they confirmed you, but that's what they were alleging. Well, don't you remember? Were... Remember, we were in trouble for that, like earlier in the year. That, like we, 
Like we well, were... the, the the previous year before, they were yeah. Somebody was uh, using an Apple Watch. Somebody had like an Apple Watch in the dugout. But then what they're saying the Red Sox did recently with uh, the previous year was uh, during the regular season. It was kind of weird. They were like barely cheating. They were doing it very limitedly. So they were only doing it while somebody was on second base. So only while they could actually normally steal signs they would have the center field camera on picking up the signs and then somebody was in the dugout so somebody would see what they were try to figure it out and then run out to the dugout and tell people for like later innings and stuff so it Whoa. wasn't like real time like the astros banging on the trash barrel well that's because of line and of sight it wasn't all the time it was just when people were on second so they were just whether you they were doing extra extra sign stealing it was illegal but not so- super super illegal so i get it so they put a camera on the second base runner because he could he could watch the sign and give the signs from second base is that what you're saying no instead of just relying on the second the person on second base to do it they had a camera on fixed on home plate like from the center field but Mm -hmm. but but they only did it when a runner was on second base. okay so they didn't trust the runner to steal the sign, or they or, or they used the camera so they could relay. Yeah, because you can't always do it. He can't always be in the right position, or it's fucking hard to see fucking uh, yeah, 120 yeah. feet across the. But dive at least and, because that way you could this, say this guy doing this. Well, that way you could say. Well, you also got to think if he's looking, he can get picked off too. You know. Well, but this this is what they were doing. They, that way they could cover it. That way it was like, well, it's only when there's someone on second, so we're not. You know, people would be like, "Oh, well, then, wow, they must be good it's at stealing." It's harder to catch. Yeah, it'd be way more obvious if at the first at bat you already fucking got the signs, you already fucking got the uh, the sequence, as opposed to when there's somebody on base and it's legitimately possible that the person just stole it. So they tried to cover it up better. It's smart cheating. That's yeah, unlike the fucking shit. Astros that are just banging the shit out of trash. Yeah, cans that was dugout. just do you, stupid. Do you, do you yeah. know? Do you guys realize that there's an easy solution for this? Does does anybody realize this? The fucking allow all cheating. <laughs> no, no, I'll tell you. This is this is why is this not a thing? The easy solution to this sign stealing shit is the fucking pitcher wears a wristband on his left on his non throwing arm, and on the wristband are the pitches. One beep is a fastball. Two beeps I, is a fucking, you know, like, and then the fucking catcher is wearing the headphones. It's a fucking easy uh, solution. Beep, I mean, beep. Beep. All right. the mic. Well, wait, the, the, the catcher is usually the one who calls the pitches, though. Do it in reverse. I guess you could throw the earbuds in the fucking uh, them up because the they do that in the NFL. You know, they or, got the mics and the helmets. Or even better, you don't even need microphones if the pitcher has a fucking thing in his glove or around his wrist or somewhere. When the catcher wants to call for it, he calls it, and then fucking it goes into the fucking uh, little the, vibration thing, so they can do yeah. like Morse code, right? Or or even like just as a backup, if if you think they're stealing signs, or if you're worried about it. Whenever you want, you can go to that. It's not hard to do and come up with a whole new system of, hey, instead of fucking outside fastball, you know, hey, like we're going to call fastball outside and the catcher just fucking outside. And now and he can say, hey, look, we're doing outside is inside now and inside is outside. And you flip that, but you never know what the pitch is. So well, then I guess you got to worry about is anybody else tapping into it? Because you don't know if they have somebody in the dugout that stole the signs just telling them in the pitcher's ear you'd have no way of knowing if anybody else has tapped into the pitcher's ear so yeah but i, I mean that's the drawback to that if you go two-way like on a frequency or on some kind of uh whatever like the, a two-way only like i mean you can really eliminate anybody being able to intercept that i would think or you can just have the catcher do this and make sure nobody cheats yeah i don't know it's just that i just feel like there's gotta be another way like of now in with technology and audio and lights but they don't want technology. That's actually what the rule is. The rule is so oddly generic and absurd. It just says you can't use technology to gain the signs. But then people right. point out is that you can use technology just a day after. You don't think people look at game footage? What's looking at footage? Using technology to fucking gain an advantage. That's exactly what it is. Right. It's just hmm. what everybody does. Yeah. But I mean, the Astros yeah. were literally using fucking. They had iPads. Yeah, that in the was dugout. a current live thing. That's obviously yeah. Way they had iPads in the fucking dugout, and they're like, okay, well, this is what's gonna happen, and then they would just bang on the fucking trash cans or whatever. 
That is yes. Weird. The Red Sox did something that every team does. They just did it live instead of waiting a day. Right. So, it's illegal, but yeah, not banging on trash cans. Illegal. I mean, they could put up a. They could even put up a, a grid if they wanted to to tell you exactly where the strike zone is, and you would need an umpire. I hate that grid sometimes, though. There's so many times where, like it goes in and it. it, it no, I but I'm not. Ta- that's the visual grid, like on TV. But you could actually create a dead-on grid. Microchips. Yeah, like all you need is the, the, four, the four lasers, or the, you, and you put it, you you line it up with the guys, the batter's jersey and shit. Yeah, and it's like, and it's it, ha- it would have width too. Like, I mean, it would be. be I fucking get to the do. people with argument on. I've gotten arguments with people on Reddit over just what a strike zone is, like the definition of it and shit. Yeah, it's pretty. It, it's 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 up in the air a little bit. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not a hundred percent. It isn't. It's, it's, that's that, but that's what kind of makes it exciting, I guess. Yeah, I just always assumed it was on the empire more than anything else. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, even though there's like a general like idea of where it is, you know, I, I always say it almost changes per player depending on height and whatnot. So, who knows though? You're hyping me up, baby. I bet I am. You're hyping me up <laughs> right now. Hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Jesus, <laughs> what kind of response is that? I mean, I don't know, man. Yeah, you got to tease him a little bit, you know. He's saying, he's hey, like, I'm ready. Yeah, to... yeah, I'm a little excited, you know. I'm ready to I come out of my right pants. Now. I'm coming out of my pants for you. Um, <laughs> so Patrick Stewart made a mistake, and well, I think a mistake, and went around and said that uh, the new Star Trek Picard is going to take on Trump and Brexit, which is like. What? What? what the, the fuck? fuck does that mean? It's woke. That's what it means. Well, if everybody remembers, as long as he has a dog, that's fine. Before the uh, before the um, Discovery show launched, which is you know I'm a big Star Trek guy, so you know couldn't wait for. Kind of was excited to see what happened with Discovery, and but then they announced like you know the Klingons or the Republicans or whatever, and I was like, oh, what like, does that even mean? Like it's dude, these people are nuts. And so I watched and I saw how it was like, it's just so not Star Trek because you got to remember that in the future, like humanity's supposed to be kind of perfect in a way, or like we all get along. I mean, there's there's some conflict, but not a lot. There's like almost no conflict. It's like super utopian. Like Gene Roddenberry didn't make like this is like this is where we are, and it's so perfect, it's unbelievable almost. Um, but that's okay because that was what it was supposed to be. But like on Discovery. There's so many instances of like this isn't right, like Spock saying, like Spock sees Michael punch this guy, and instead of being like you know your violence isn't logical to that, why did you you know he's like I wish I saw the violence, like it's like Spock would never <laughs> Spock would never say like I wish I was there to have seen it, like that's not Spock, that's just that's not him at all. So and then there was a scene where like a guy they, they had to like go out and do something. And, you know, generic guy out of nowhere. Now, the lead character, of course, is a black female. But the, this this white guy out of nowhere is like, oh, you're going to be driving that thing? You're stupid. Uh. And then he dies. And then, like, everybody's like, ha ha, he's an idiot. But it's like, dude, that's not Star Trek. That's there's that's not what, what? Like, the in Star Trek, when there was, like, somebody who was flawed, like, they would try to co- correct them or, like, try to, like, you know, maybe they'll see the way. Like, you wouldn't be like, oh, just haha, that guy deserved that. Like, what? That's like nowadays. That's like, we're, like that's us now. That's not the future. So th- there's like a million examples of that in Star Trek that makes me go, ugh. And it all started when before the show debuted, they announced it was going to be like this, whatever the fuck. Well, now Patrick Stewart, Picard is about to come out on January 23rd. And listen, I love TNG. A lot of people think like Star Trek's boring. You know what I mean? I get it. Next generation is kind of weird. It's kind of boring. I have a friend who calls it the library in space, but I but I think it's just a fucking amazing show, and a lot of people did. That's why they won awards. That's why it was such a great show growing up from 1987 to 1993, and then all the movies of both Star Treks and every other Star Trek, Deep Space Nine and Enterprise and the original series and Next Generation. I, lo- I love it all. Voyager, fuck it all of it, except for this. Discovery, fucked it up. But now Star Trek Picard says it's not like the original, which I get. Okay, it's not like the original. But now he's saying it's like we're going to 
take on Trump and Brexit, and it's like, oh no, like what? I just want Star Trek, man. Why do I have to fucking yeah. hear about this? Sh- like, like the Twilight Zone has been ruined. They ruined the fucking Twilight Zone. And oh shit! I didn't even get around to seeing that. I, I never watched that. it. Really? What, Troy? I forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, according to this guy, this guy says I canceled my subscription to CBS after watching the woke Twilight Zone. I'm not surprised Star Trek Picard will be another Hollywood spin of SJW agenda. So that's not good. Um, he said, I think we're trying to say is important in this show. The world of next generation doesn't exist anymore. It's different. Nothing is really safe. Nothing is really secure. That's what Picard, that's what Stewart says. I explained to them all, all the elements of next generation, which belong in the next generation and why I didn't want to go near them again. So this is this is Patrick Stewart being like, let's let's make it cool and let's do this. And it's this like doesn't sound right. It's like no, Ugh. no. And he did this with, you know, he's I don't know, man. Like I'm I'm really concerned after hearing some of this because it's like every second these Hollywood people, it's like they don't understand what we like. They're like, like, I mean, maybe it's not that big a deal. And he, and what he means is, you know, he's going on this kind of adventure story that's happening. And so he means it's like, it's not going to be that episodic, happy ending like every, and you know, but I, I don't think that a lot of people understand in Hollywood that that's what we want. Like, we want that back. Like, that's why the Orville does so well. The Orville's did well <laughs> because... True. Yeah, you like you like it and it's fun and you're happy. Like this when when you're if this is going to be all about like politics, you're just going to be like, "Wow, fuck this, man. Like I'm sick of politics as it is. Now it's in the show." And Star Trek has always had politics in it, but it's like it, I don't know, it's I get, it, I'm trying to figure out how to say it. Like I don't I don't ever watch I never watched the next generation and thought, "Wow, they're shitting on Republicans or Democrats here." I never thought that. Well, you know, some of it might be that we're so exposed to it now of looking for the agenda that maybe you even didn't notice it back then. Yeah, but the thing about if it, it is, was. but th- but see, they're announcing the agenda before they they comes out. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Like, I think that's what. I mean, I don't know if you saw the new Watchmen show, but that show was completely ruined because oh, I, of the agenda. Oh yeah, no, I heard about it and I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it, it because I, I I was I I saw the first episode. Then I saw clips of the next thing and then heard about what they were doing, and I went, oh, no. Yeah, it was god-awful. The whole show was nothing but an agenda dump. That's all it was. Wow. And you know what? If it hadn't have been, that show would be super mega right now. Like We'd all be talking about that. That's why we're talking about The Witcher more than that probably now. Yeah, I mean, The Witcher, uh, and that popular one, I guess, was Chernobyl. And even that one, like Leo was telling me, like even that, like they were trying to make everybody a different race and Polish people are angry because they're like, make, make, like they tried to make some of the main characters like black and stuff. And the Polish people are like, what the fuck? This is about us. Like, this is about, this is our story. Why the fuck are you changing everybody to some other race? Because, oh, they're like, oh, there's too many white people and everything. And we got to put all the, and the, but the Polish people are like, we are fucking white. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I... I, I mean, I, I don't know if you're talking about uh, Yennefer because she's kind of a different race than what she's supposed to be. But I, I you know, I no, don't I'm ta- no, it because I'm talking they don't about, draw attention to it. No, like there was there was people they did make white that were that were not going to be because they wanted to. They were like, oh, there's too many white people. But then the Polish people and all these other people were complaining, like, what the fuck? The story's based on this. You, why would you change their race? So they basically right. tried to, you know, and they did what what I think is OK, which is like you look for where you could have diversity if you can. Like, OK, like, does this group of people maybe we can change like this guy could be. It doesn't matter what he is like. It, like it, it's like in Star Trek. They already do it in Star Trek. When I see a Romulan or somebody, sometimes there's a person who plays somebody who's black and sometimes a person who plays somebody who's white. It doesn't matter. Like you know what I mean? Like sometimes a, a a Klingon is played by a black guy or a white guy. You know, generally they're played by black guys because it's easier. You don't have to put makeup on. But there's 
<laughs> no, but there's sometimes there's a Klingon played by a, by a white guy and they paint him black. Um, sometimes there's a Romulan who's played by a black guy or played by a white guy. It doesn't matter because they're, you know, the human race has different varieties. So there's no reason why the aliens wouldn't have different varieties. So it's not a big deal at all. And but if you're telling right. a, but if you're telling a story about Africa, like if you're talking about African lore, like something about in Africa that everybody knows about, and you tell that story, w- would you be like, oh, we need we need to have some of them be white people? And and by the way, they would do that. They they would still do that because I see it still on black shows. You still see it, which is okay because you're like in the normal world. There's more than there's not just black people, and in the normal world, there's not just white people. So you try to mix in some like, hey, listen, the core story is about a black family, or the core story is about a black, you know, environment or a, an area. Like so, it's mostly black people, but we need to have. Can we have a couple? Where can we throw in like the white a couple white people? And they, they do the same thing because they want to appeal still to be like, all right. But you don't need to. You should be thinking about the story more than anything. Do you like? Who cares what you fucking stick in there? It's all about the story. If the story calls for that, then I don't know. Like I get putting people in there, but they're going out of their That's way. That's why Martin Freeman's in uh, Black Panther and Andy <laughs> Circus. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. They were like, "Oh, here's your white guys. Uh, whatever." You know. It's. Just, I get it. But like what they tried to do with The Witcher, almost. Then they they finally they they didn't get away with it. They didn't get away with it. So. I don't think I minded. Yeah, I don't think I minded the stuff with The Witcher. Or at least no, I didn't, it no, didn't bother me. I don't me, mind what they have, though. I don't mind the show and how the show looks. I watched it and I went, oh, this is fine. I don't see anything wrong with the show. Exactly. I, I think it was just people complaining just to have a reason to complain. No, but D, but Moon, like, they changed a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, I get it. No, I, I completely understand. Like, I think you're talking about, like, um, one of the warlocks who was black or whatever. Right? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, uh, there was, yeah, yeah. There, I don't know. It's not Yennefer. It's the, well, uh, it's the, other, the other one. Dude. Well, Leo, yeah, the other dude. She's in the second game. Hold on. Leo was mad the other day because she said the only girl who's like a good looking redhead isn't even in the show now. Like, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, what was her name? Trish. Trish. Or Trish. Yeah. Yes. That's the, who it was. She's like the girl that plays this girl doesn't even look anything like her. And I guess when you read, you know, when you read about someone and you get you know it's descriptive it's very descriptive so exactly, so yeah. when your brain is it's not racist it's not like you're trying to be racist i'd feel the same way too if i read about a black guy if i read about a black guy and i read all his features i read about him i learn about him i'm imagining what he looks like in my head and then a show comes out and and it's a white guy i'm going to be like what the fuck yeah no what the fuck is this <laughs> like yeah, and it, it didn't it didn't help that it was like one of the most important characters in the books as well. Like yeah. it really stands out more. Yeah, and they don't even mention her in the show that much. Like I didn't even know it was her until I think I read about it later. Well, that's because they maybe say her name like twice. Maybe that's why yeah. because they maybe because they were like it's kind of not the role it was you know that you'd think it is. So, well, well, let's let's cast somebody in that like get some diversity in there. Um. But yeah, everybody on the show so far that what I've watched, I liked it. I liked everybody. I didn't have I didn't ever think like, oh, you know, I never thought that if you never told me about anything about any of this, I wouldn't even know about any of this. I I, I watched the show and I did not feel like anybody was preaching to me about anything. However, I watched Watchmen and I felt like I should end myself. The first episode too, right? Like you get it immediately. Right. I, I watched and was like, I feel like, uh, I don't know, I just feel, and because like, with the things the way they are nowadays, you would extra try to stay away from that. But instead, they went the other way with it. They fucked with you too, man. Like, I remember when they were promoting that show, it didn't seem like they were going to go in the route of like politics and all that stuff. Like, they completely blindsided us with all that shit. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. I thought we were going to get Watchmen, you know what I mean? I yeah. Just oh, like yeah, dude. I mean, the, a completely different take. The conversation. Oh, you got Watchmen 30 years later. So what are you yeah. guys talking about in the first episode? He's talking about the, the fucking the massacre, the, the Tulsa massacre. Right. No. You're blindsided that's, with that. That made you feel so bad that they showed you true history that you didn't know no, about. No, I was blindsided by the uh, the stuff that they, you know, that stuff doesn't bother me. What bothered me was the changes. That didn't it wasn't bother change. you? Okay, not that it didn't bother me. It's just like, I, that's fine. They can show us that, whatever. Oh, it I was get fine. where this is going. 
<laughs> what bothered what bothered me was the Rorschach stuff and changing that and it. I don't know, like. I, it, it's not heavy spoilers. It's in the first episode. That's but... fucking hysterical. That's that's the, <laughs> that, that's hysterical that that's what bothers you because that's funny. That's the whole point is that they misappropriated Rorschach. Yeah. Because they point out that yeah that group misappropriated Rorschach. Guess what? You're probably misappropriating Rorschach. You're them. <laughs> you know, but their their reason for changing it, at least the big, or at least making it that way, was because oh well. He sent his journal to a right-wing newspaper place. That's why. That, that's why all of his followers are racist and practically KKK members. Well, it's that's not just that it went to right-wing. It's that it's a crazy-ass fucking conspiracy that you'd have to be a lunatic believe. Just, just so happens in that universe, it happened to be the truth. Well, now it's just fucking weird because now I feel like since the show, like the Rorschach image now is going to be tied to fucking racism now, you know? No, yeah. I disagree. You don't I think so? He just looks at the, the show and doesn't look at the original and I mean, doesn't do any research over it, but then if somebody's not doing any research on it and just says that, then why would you care or listen but, to them? Troy, you can't say that there definitely wasn't a huge agenda with this, particularly leaning to one side. I think they did a better job of balancing it out. They're showing what happens. They showed the overcompensation, you know, the whole idea of red predations and the fact that the pushback to that, it wasn't, it, the show didn't ever say that red predations were a good thing. It didn't say it was a justified thing. Obviously, when you compare it to what happened with the, the massacre, you'd be like, yeah, you can understand how that would come about in, in the, in the show. But, it shows you what happens as a result of that. The overcompensation by the reputations leads to the, the result of the cavalry and stuff like that. So it wasn't just necessarily that they were siding with them. They showed more sides of that too. And why people grew up that way. Like I loved um, uh, looking glass and like seeing how it affected him growing up after being through that uh, outside of the explosion and shit. So you get to see more of how people became that way. They showed you some of the rich people, the crazy rich people behind it, like the senator and stuff that were the evil, evil people. But the low-end guys were just low-end guys convinced by shit on the internet. There was more truth to it. I don't think it was all one side of push and do an agenda. It was more just a commentary on how things are today, showing both sides. Sure, it's more left-leaning than not, just like anything in Hollywood, but it wasn't a full-on, like, shove it down your throat SJW fest. It was... You know what's a crazy? Good of balance maybe both maybe sides. I should finish it because after episode three, yeah, yeah, I maybe you should finish it, it before just talking <laughs> shit dude, about it, pretending it, like you knew what it, the whole thing was about. Yeah, but, I'd say you should finish but, man, it. It put a bad taste in my mouth after that. Yeah. Like first two episodes, I was like, I don't want to watch this anymore. I didn't this want. Is... I, I mean, listen, I didn't either. So I mean, there you go. And I'm not even. Le I'm like more left leaning. So I mean, I wouldn't have cared. But I there's just, there's like, some absolutely. Uh, great stuff later on there's some just amazing weird shit that comes together later on and you're just like oh 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 what uh ho like e it, there's some really interesting stuff that they do some really weird turns that you, you think you see coming and maybe you do but then you don't but you did but it kind of didn't it's it really is worth watching and checking out for people out there it's not a uh, one side of bash fest all it's a pretty good commentary on what could happen and where our future could go depending on what things happen now you know i'll i'll give you this like the original like like the the original comic book is extremely like th like through and through like it is so you know maybe it's just because we're ex have so much of this today thrown in our faces that maybe that's why it turned me off so quickly because I was just like okay this is just going to be another agenda filled show whatever whatever I'm going to fucking stop watching it because I know when um th whenever they had people review the show uh, before it came out they had them watch the first six or seven episodes before yeah. actually reviewing it so maybe maybe that's why maybe it is supposed to be pieced together like that I can give you that maybe that's why it is but yeah, I don't know. that's when you start I... to get some some crazy revelations, and it does link back to to Watchmen. Like it gives you, a, almost all the backstory of uh, of uh, one or two uh, heroes from the the first of the, from the film and from the comic book. Um, obviously, from the comic book, that's it's a sequel to that. Thankfully, they did the Alien Monster justice and everything.
Well, it's like yeah, there's a lot of things the movie didn't do. It's like in in Star Trek uh, Discovery. It's like I don't yeah. have I I have no problem. Like I actually like the fucking gay couple, like the Doctor and if anybody I don't a lot of people haven't seen it, but but it's like the Doctor and the other dude who like are gay, like that. I that is totally believable in the episodes. I'm like, yeah, I, I actually like the Doctor. At first, I went, oh, he, okay, and then I was like, oh no, I really like the characters and I really like them. In fact, I was actually, dude, I was actually angry about something that happens with them in the show, and I'm like, what the fuck? And so, like, it's the opposite. But but there's other. It's the other things that they do. That's like, oh my god, no. Like that that's the stuff where you're like, no, this isn't real. Like like do, men aren't just angry, crazy people in the future. And the women don't just have to be like, I'm the woman. Like that that's not no, that's not how it works. That's not what's going on in the future here in Star Trek. So and it's constantly happening in that show. And it's like, this is no, stop it. It's kinda it's just like Star Wars. Same thing as Star Wars. They did the same thing in, in the Jedi movie. It was like constantly like, No, dumb male, I'm woman. Every woman's a general. Every woman, you know, and the men are stupid. Like it's, it's the same thing in Star Trek Discovery. But but the stuff that they put in there that was kind of like, you know, oh, you never seen like a, a real, like gay couple in the crew. That didn't bother me at all. I was just like, yeah, it seems real. Like I, I let, it's no problem. I'll fuck the guy for God's sake. Um, I'm sorry. Do we have another super chat? Here it comes. Party. Hit me with that tree drop. Oh, you got it. If you got a dick, I'll follow you. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Did you hear the whole thing, by the way? It's so weird. Well, you might have uncorrupted already, but listen to... Like, this is fucking yikes. Ooh, oh, I... <laughs> Ooh, oh, I can... Ooh, oh, I can't come up with the comeback, so I'm just going to go, oh. Oh, I didn't even realize he followed I didn't even realize. Cool. Whatever. I'm just like liking everybody. If you got a dick, I'll follow you. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Cool. Are you okay? Are you? <laughs> but anyways, uh, that, was my, uh, that was, that was my birthday dinner. I posted. Damn, Monica and Drew. You've got a up all night long again, having a nice conversation. If you got a dick, I'll follow you. That's why I left. I felt the sexual tension, so I had to get out of there. So you left them alone talking to each other? Yeah. Didn't they, they recorded for like a half hour after I was gone, I believe. Whoa. Ooh. Captain uh, Captain Late Night, thank you for subscribing. What's up, Captain Late Night? And thank you to Drew, though. Uh, Drew has been a... Uh, Drew is like the shields of the Enterprise tonight. And uh, so aren't... So isn't Denise. Has been. It's been a... Uh, been a battle in the front lines tonight um you think they're he's helping you until you realize it's just all make-believe oh drew <laughs> <laughs> drew yeah a lot of him is make-believe we kind of know that you know you're calling drew a you, are you calling drew a, you calling drew a fake is that what you're saying he's a phony did you <laughs> what have you been talking to leah um no did you uh did you see that Antonio Brown threw a bag of dicks at the cops? Did you happen to catch that? Like gummy dicks? Insane, dude. Yeah, like, or like dildos. Like gummy dicks. It was on Instagram, right? Yeah, I found this uh the video of it on Twitter, I think. But it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, oh, yeah, probably it was originated in on Instagram. Uh, Instagram or whatever. All right, let me go find it. I know I retweeted it days ago. Before before we find that Remind me if I forget that we're looking for it, but I have to stop on this JB workout video. <laughs> this is guns. This. He's talking to Tommy here. I don't like how it's a straight line from his back up his neck to the top of his head. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the girls, Tommy. <laughs> I like this, actually. Isn't this uncomfortable for some reason? This is for all of the reasons. <laughs> you are fucked. This motherfucker's <laughs> This motherfucker's pale, dude. <laughs> what, you want him to look darker? 
I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop me. <laughs> I want to see who can bench more, Tommy or JB. I want to see it. Are you joking? No, I want to see it. There's no way. I know that he's got tard strength, but there's I got to believe that, <laughs> tard. that JB. Don't underestimate tard strength. I'm telling you, though, JB's got to have him beat there. I don't know. How about this Project Veritas? Well, JB's got some pretty big arms right there. We'll see. What do you think about this Project Veritas thing or whatever with the Bernie Sanders? Listen to this. It goes to the second round of the DNC convention. start in Milwaukee and then when they and when the police push back on that and other cities it's yeah that guy looks stable that is Kyle uh, he's, he he's, looks like he's being serious he's a field organizer for the Sanders campaign he says uh, other cities will just fucking something blow up uh, Troy is that you yeah are, are you gonna kill people if Bernie Sanders doesn't win Troy I was going to say, that sounds like the uh, easy kind of title I could make up. Yeah, I'm a field organizer, yeah. representative <laughs> coordinator. Now, all this all this means is that one guy who works on the Sanders campaign, which there's like thousands of people who organize tons of different things, um, is said some just whacked out shit, you know? That's all this is. And by the way, after somebody put a couple margaritas into him, it sounds uh, like yeah. After someone had a couple drinks with him, um, by the way, I, I I almost don't agree. I almost agree with him because you know what? These fucking DNC fucks uh, who robbed Bernie Sanders the last time and all coordinated this bullshit against him. If they do it again, that's what he's talking about here. That's well. What did you see what uh, Warren said about him the other day? Oh yeah, I see Elizabeth Warren's already attacking him with yeah, and it's seriously. not true. It's not even true. It's like no, so not. now Elizabeth Warren's coming after him, and you know they're they're gonna give it to Biden, and it's like, dude, God. Bernie Sanders needs to go nuts, dude. I want to see Bernie Sanders back. You know what? Fuck you, die, you cunt. Fuck you, Hillary Clinton, you cold clam cunt. And fuck you, Warren. You're a cunt too, just like her. And you won't get elected because you're a psycho bitch. You fucking Indian cunt. You're just like your fucking, yeah, I, I said that. I said a woman couldn't get elected, you fucking cunt. Yeah, you lied about that like you lied about being an Indian, you Cherokee I cunt. I hope you die in a fucking car fire. Oh, I didn't What's mute up, myself. everyone just got home from work. What's up? Could you imagine if Spock and Bones were gay together? <laughs> Spock, run your fingers down my thigh. Yes, Spock. Oh, Spock. Spock! Constipated Rock. What is up, man? Mr. Constipated Rock. Thank you for the $8 in the chat. How you guys doing? Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I want, I want fucking Sanders to go off, man. Thank you, Constipated Rock. <laughs> I trust, uh, I you know, I kind of, see, that's why I think I kind of trust Sanders a little bit, because at least I know, like, they're all out to get him. You know what I mean? And he's trying to fucking whatever. I, I, you know, she says that the minute he pulls ahead in the polls. Yeah. The very minute. Like, what a weird fuck. I thought she was supposed to be this nice fucking, like, whatever the fuck. Like, oh, may the best person win. You know, I really think we need to make America, you know, great again, and that's why I want to be here. But it's like, that's not what she does. Then it's no. like, oh, you fucking lied. Oh, you did lie about that. I know you did. Yeah, you did. Oh, you said that. You did say that. <laughs> Remember her husband that night when she was like, hey, want to come on stream and say hi? And he was like, okay. And he only looks at her like, okay. Well, yeah. Hi. Uh -huh. And then he like leaves. <laughs> He's like, I want to die. Um, you know Warren pegs him Tell you night. something. Let me tell you something, Warren, you fucking douche cunt. I'm going to snap your goddamn 
camel toe off and I'm going to eat it in front of you. I'm going to eat your goddamn clam in front of you and in front of everybody here. We're going to have free health care for everybody, but only if we eat the pussy lips of Warren. That's what's going to happen. Like, it, it, I swear to God, if Bernie came out and said that, I'd vote for him. I think I trust Bernie and Trump more than anybody. I don't know if I trust anybody else at all. I, mean, I don't trust anybody. I don't trust anybody, but at least Bernie and Trump have something different going on. I I think I'm pretty sure you can trust Bernie not to uh, missile anybody at a public airport. I'd love to see him do it. And I bet he'd do it. World War Three. You think so? I pretty much trust him not to do that. Are you sure? Yeah, he's a peacemonger. Oh, dirty, dirty peacemonger. We'll see. I mean, maybe he'll get elected. We'll find out. Yeah. Fuck. God, I would. I'd love to see him and Trump fighting in the debates. Wouldn't that be the best? Because they're the biggest characters, right? Nobody else is a character anymore, right? Nobody's left that's a character. I mean, they are, but like Warren's like boring. She'd be like, oh, no, no. I don't know. Biden seems like the racist uncle at Thanksgiving. Well, yeah, but he's like boring because he'd just get killed. Trump will kill him. Like Biden will get yeah. destroyed. Oh, yeah, no doubt. But but Bernie, like he might start stepping up his tone a bit. Like, no, that's where you're wrong. No, that's where you're wrong. You want to do it? Let's fuck. Like, let me tell you something. Let's run the numbers. Oh, remember, like, the faces, like, Bernie's made at some of the other people before and stuff? Like, Bernie <laughs> and Trump. Think about it in a debate. Cause, do they debate? Are they going to debate? Yeah. There's, there's going to be a debate, right? Okay. So Eventually. Because yeah. you, can you imagine being like, Bernie, listen, Bernie, listen, Bernie, listen, Bernie. And then Bernie being like, no, no, you listen because, oh, you're going to tell me now. Like, oh, God, dude. I'm <laughs> Are you ready? That would be hilarious. Oh, my God. Are you ready for the entertainment between those two? But fucking Biden? He's going to be up there and be like, ha, yeah, well, that's what you said. Oh, where am I? Well, Hillary I wanna, said I could say this. Where's a baby? I want to smell a baby. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's fucking weird fuck he is. Joe Biden. I want to smell a baby. Like every every fifteen minutes, they have to bring him a nine year old female to smell, so that his life force can come back and he can have enough pep on stage to fight with Trump. It's like every nineteen minutes, they run some blonde haired little girl on stage so he can. F <laughs> okay, it's here like, you go. Uh, oh, it's like yeah. poppers. It's like the smell and salts for him. <laughs> right. Oh, fucking children. God. Uh, One of the debates, they should just have Bernie and Trump in a uh, three-round exhibition boxing match. Hold on, go, you See fucking go, my fucking hunchback. Well, they're around the same age, aren't they? Pretty I, close. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think Bernie's a little bit older. Maybe He's, I mean, pro he's probably a couple years older. Let's see. Yeah. So Trump is 73. <laughs> we'll find out Bernie has eaten the heart of a young children to retain his vitality. I mean, come on, bro. If somebody ate the heart of a young kid, it's like the fucking... Like the entire goddamn Rolling Stones. Okay, like, we got a five year difference. 78, 73. They can do it. He's 78, right? Yeah, Bernie's 78. Can we get somebody yeah, who's Bernie's like. He's in way better shape, though. Not fucking. Well. every upper and downer. And I don't know. Up. I don't I don't know if you can <laughs> say Bernie's in better shape than Trump. Oh, without a doubt. You can see clips of Bernie running around at campaign events and stuff. What? Yeah, Trump looks fucking thick as fuck in his tennis yeah, You ever seen that clip where, like, Bernie's, like, on a little stage giving a speech and some lady faints, like, 30 feet off camera? She, like, faints and falls over. You hear, like, go, go. And he's like, oh, my God. And he, like, jogs over to, like, go assist her. And he's, like, the first person to make it over to her. There's, like, six people standing in between Bernie on stage and the lady that faints. But he's just like, oh. Oh my God! Well, no, and he because goes and runs over and like a sister, and he's like, "Oh, it's a uh, okay. Somebody, we got it. Okay, good." Yeah, yeah but what you don't know is before the thing started, the lady was like, "I've been having trouble with my heart," and Bernie was like, "Really?" And then that happened. He was like, "Oh, oh my God, right heart. here. This will be great." Yeah, but then on top of that, all the people in the but all the people in the crowd think it was a bullet that missed Bernie, so there nobody wants to move. <laughs> oh my God! I mean, really? Like, come on. Let me see if I can find the video of this. Oh my God, is she dead? I don't know. I'm dead. I'm bled. I'm I'm red. Wait, all, all I got is the video of her already on the floor. But you're telling me there's a video. It's a guy who passed out, by the way. Maybe that's a different one. 
But is there or maybe another guy fainted? Like there, I've seen it. He runs over. Yeah, they drugged the guy. They drugged the guy so that he could purposely faint, fall over, so Bernie <laughs> could rescue him. They're like, "Hey, thanks for coming today. We invited you, and it was good. Hey, uh, here's some complimentary water. Oh, thanks, man. You know." And then he fucking faints and falls over, and Bernie's like, "Like the cue's gonna be, we're gonna, someone's gonna ring a bell, Bernie." You know, and the guy falls over, and he's like, "Oh, oh!" Like, see how fit. I don't know, Bernie. G2 Bernie running. There's a couple of clips of him running backstage and other stuff, too. And he's going to have another heart attack if he keeps it up. Oh, that was like a minor one. Yeah, the, the yeah. You wait a minute. What now. are you saying? You're like, oh, he's in the best shape more to Trump. He's had a heart attack. Trump hasn't. I bet Trump hasn't had one because he keeps getting heart transplants. Uh, whatever. He's probably had one before. I'm sure yeah. Trump had plenty before, just well, not when it would have made news. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, sure I'm going as soon with... as an organ starts getting in the red zone, he gets an in- a replacement one off the black market. I'm just going by the fucking facts. Like I mean, if, oh, maybe he, oh, he might have had a secret heart attack, you know? Come on. Like, let's, let's. And, and Bernie's a hunchback, too. What's wrong with that? When the debate... Just saying. I don't know. Trump looks, you know, all right. Bernie looks like his fucking, he looks like the things from the fifth element. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, what the fucking hell? Uh... I mean, like I, I can't, I can't believe, we're, yeah, Goomba. I can't believe we're talking about Bernie Sanders still. Like, we talked, remember back in 2016, man, it was such a, that was when we met Bailey, because he called us Bernie Sanders. I hate old crusty Democrats. Oh, yeah. Well, good news, Bernie's an independent. Well, I hate old crusty. Any crusty politician is. I'm not talking about Bernie. I'm talking about the the people who are still keeping Biden, like in the oh, race. Yeah. Those are the Democrats that are going for him. Yeah, that's that's weird. Like the fact that he's even in this is weird. There's no fucking. No one's voting for Biden. Yeah. Fucking losing. He's. I don't know. Oh, well, some rich corporate holdouts that don't like the gays. Yeah, but I mean, like, if no. If you're okay with the gays, you vote for. But gay or whatever his name is, but, but geek. almost nobody is gonna vote for Biden. When it when it, actually, if it if he got in, like nobody's voting Biden. Where everybody's voting for Bernie or Trump. Nobody's voting for fucking Biden. He's a nitwit. He's a doesn't know who the fuck he is. He can't even remember Obama's name. How was he our vice president for eight years? Look at that! Sh- I love that shake because he thinks someone just got shot. <laughs> He thought he was dead right there. That's what that... He thought he was dead. He thought he was dead. He closed his eyes like, oh, the bullet. Listen, it sounds like a gunshot. In, in some... <laughs> he thought really he was does. fucking... I mean, I'm... See, that's really or what it, it is. It sounds like a gunshot or somebody got smacked with a steel chair, like, straight across <laughs> the map. <In> some... <laughs> Look at his face as he turns to the Look side. Like... <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm alive. <laughs> like, oh, it's not something <laughs> yeah. else. He's like, oh, fuck, I'm still here. I'm fucking alive. I thought I was, I thought I was dead. Oh, I'm dead. I was thinking about this. <laughs> they sent me the report that there was warnings. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, it's this guy. Oh, he just kind of skipped over there. Kind of runs over like a prowler. Watch this. Like a, like a prowler. You made it seem like he like ran the fucking marathon over to somebody. I bet he could sprint pretty hard. Yeah, I guarantee you that go look Bernie running montage. I bet you can find like somebody put together clips. I mean, he's in decent shape. Uh, look at her ass. Oh, the, I feel bad about the guy, but look at that girl's ass. I like that. <laughs> if I was president, I'd eat that. <laughs> it does kind of seem like he doesn't have a neck. Can we get a forty-five-year-old president instead? I mean, that was the one good thing about Obama. I mean, well, there was a lot of good things about him, but there was a good thing about Obama that was he seemed younger. You're like, oh, this guy's younger. Like, he's more like uh, our age. A little robotic, but, you know, he's more closer to. Yeah. How old was uh, Obama? Like 43 40, or 48? Yeah, I think he was like just on the cutoff for how old you can be to be president. So I think he's like 40. Yeah, I see, like, right that's there. like, what the fuck? Like, that was. That's pretty young. He seemed cool. Well, honestly. Who was the young? <laughs> he seemed. <laughs> oh, you tell me. He's like, oh, my God. He seemed cool. 
And then he just started blowing up brown people and raising their <laughs> yeah. kids. Uh, oh, I don't know oh, what happened. Oh, With drones. I'm Bill Nava. <laughs> <laughs> Started blowing up brown people. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, so hold on. He called. He turned. Yeah. Well, what happened was, a lot of people don't know it. He was really interested in breaking records. He called the Guinness Book of World Records. He was just brainstorming one night, like, you know, what can I do now as president? Do I have any special talents, special skills? You know, things at my disposal. And so he called Guinness. And he said, "Hey, do you guys have a world record for drones?" And they're like, no, like size of drones, how long you fly in drones? Goes, oh, no, 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 I, I, I want to drone people. Want to drone people. <laughs> You're going to fly somebody in a drone, sir? No, no, I want to blow people up in drones. Do you guys have a world record for blowing people up with drones? Uh, no, sir, we don't. Great, I'm going to get right on it. Click. And then he went for it. As far as we know, we got it. Oh, my God. Cabretti in the chat just said something really funny. That is way too. So funny. Obama was forty. We were told he was Obama was forty. When he, uh, when the oh, went four. I was close to forty-eight. Some of you know they were. Yeah. And all the other numbers I threw out. Watch this, Ray. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch this, Ray. I consulted. We were told. Uh, oh, cleaning up my system there. Some of you know, some... <laughs> I don't know. I oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus, Jimmy Carter is awesome. Some... Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I barely <bail> you out! <laughs> oh my! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Bailey really had it down on corrupted the other day. That was he really had it. Yeah, he did. He really Some did. Know they were. Look at him. He's the first person oh to rush God. over. <laughs> yeah, everybody else is oh like, my "Oh my God, the bullet missed Bernie!" Like, what kind of fucking protection is this? <laughs> like, like, I would have immediately tackled Bernie out of the way and been like, "Oh my God, someone got shot!" Instead of like, that would have been my first thought. It wouldn't have been somebody fainted. Let's go check on them. I would have been like, "Holy shit, someone just got sniped." I mean, honestly, like, I'm dead serious. That would have been my thought is someone just got sniped. Get Bernie out of here. That's exactly what I would have thought. But they're all like, oh, is he okay? Let's check on the... No, get Bernie out of there. He's just fucking standing there like a sitting Jew. Oh Come on, God. get him out of there. Oh, my God. He's a sitting what? <laughs> sitting Jew. <laughs> oh, tell me Troy's laughing at that. Okay. He's smiling at it. <laughs> Oh, he's muted. Snow bunny. Did I mute him? No. Why is he muted? Did he mute himself or did I mute him? I don't know. He's not talking. He probably muted himself. Yeah. Or I'm just not making noise. Yeah, he didn't want to. He was like, let me keep my <laughs> voice out of that. Out of that fucking thing. He's a sitting Jew. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let me go back to... Uh, where is it? There's one that we got to... I was not consulted. We were told... Uh, when the debates were going to take place and as some of you the new debates just happened let's see in iowa right or something like that let's not turn to an issue that's come up in the last 48 hours senator that's sanders good. cnn reported yesterday that and senator sanders senator warren confirmed in a statement that in 2018 you told her that you did not believe that a woman could win the election why did you say that well, as a matter of fact, I didn't say it. Uh, and I don't want to waste a whole lot of time on this because this is what Donald Trump and maybe some of the media want. Uh, anybody knows me knows that it's incomprehensible that I would think that a woman could not be president of the United States. Go to you. How about you turn to Elizabeth Warren and say, why are you lying? Like, is he a, a dusty is, cunt? Is he a fucking vagina? Because here she is and she looks at him. She doesn't say he didn't say that. She doesn't go, you know, he really didn't say that, that, you know, let's go to something different or whatever. She looks at him like, ha, I deal with that. And then he has to go, no, I didn't say that. So somebody's lying. Who's lying? I think she is. I think that, I think that he, because he's so nonchalant about it, I think he's not, I don't think he's lying. I really don't. Well, someone's lying. And the fact that. Well, look how nervous Warren looks. 
mm. when they bring that up. He's laughing. Yeah, he kind of laughs about it. Could win the- and look at, see how she looks down like this, too? And is looking away. Oh, That's a little weird. bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Little bit of the bubble. I love to smell the nasty farts. I love the helly smell farts. I will fuck Trump's farts. I wanna fuck all the farts. Fuck, fuck, fuck farts. Fuck, fuck farts. Fuck farts. Farts, farts, fuck farts. I'm gonna come, come farts. Come fats, knee fucks, gar fucks, farts, knee far. Jesus. Well, there you go, wow <laughs> fart. There you go, wow Every fart. Everything said on the program. I, I, yeah, of everything that's ever been said, that's pretty tame. The election. Why did you say that? Well, as a matter of fact, I didn't say it. Uh, And I don't want to waste a whole lot of time on this because this is what Donald Trump and maybe some of the media want. Uh, Anybody knows me knows that it's incomprehensible that I would think that a woman could not be president of the United States. Go to YouTube today. There's a video of of me 30 years ago talking about how a woman could become president of the United States. In 2015, I deferred, in fact, to Senator Warren. There was a movement to draft Senator Warren to run for president. And you know what? I said, stayed back. Senator Warren decided not to run, and I did, I did run after oh, He cucked out again. He's got a great history of being a vagina. I will say that. Senator Sanders. Senator Sanders, I do want to be clear. wanted her to run? So, uh, so he doesn't... So he did it instead? That's the exact opposite. So is he ever going to say that you're a liar? Like... Is he ever going to, like, I mean, like, is she just going to stand there like she's not a liar? Or is she going to say, Bernie, you're a liar? Or, I, I mean, bet, you know, man, I bet they talked behind the scenes about this, bro. I bet they did. They had to have. I mean, maybe. I, I don't know. That's just what it seems like to me. Yeah, that could be it. Could be why nobody says anything, which is really weird. Yeah, I'm sure Bernie called her up and was like, you old dusty you cunt. You dusty bitch, I'll fucking snap your neck and eat your ass. You can't get it done, you, cr- you cross-eyed Lisa Simpson wannabe. You fucking <laughs> your goddamn carpet-munching hair-bagging saddle bag of fucking purple sweatshirt-wearing cunt guzzler. Here, you're saying that you never told Senator Warren. You blue-eyed, a- you blue-eyed bitch, your German parents probably killed my family. A woman could not win oh, the election. That is correct. Senator Warren, what did you think when Senator Sand- Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? <laughs> he just said that he that, that that he didn't say that. So now this lady comes on like it's fact. So who? CNN. Who's the cunt who's fucking moderating this? Because he just told you that didn't happen. Now this lady ignores that and goes, what did you say when he said that? I mean, why doesn't she say, well, he says he didn't say it. Elizabeth Warren, if you say it did happen, so you saying it did happen, what did you say? But no. Oh, that's why. To try to fight with Bernie. What? Senator Sand- Sanders told you a woman could not win the election. <laughs> I disagreed. Bernie is my friend, and I am not here to try to fight with Bernie. Then why so, would you say that? Well, why could? the fuck? What are they talking about? These people are fucked. <laughs> yeah. These oh people are God. fucked in the ass. So stupid, dude. Oh my Just God. Just kill yourselves. Holy shit. Elect Trump now. Just elect him now. Trump's the president. Welcome to the second term, Trump. These people are idiots. What are you you talking about? Bernie just said he didn't say it. That's what you always ask him to do. So he did what you ask him to do, and they just said, elect Trump. What the fuck is wrong with you? They just said they're friends. They're calling each other liars about whether he said a woman could... What the fuck kind of shit is this? I think Elizabeth was back in no corner, and she was scared. Scared to feel the burn. Well, one one of her aides came out and said this, and... And then she had to, like, obviously can't lie about that. But So then she had to be like, yeah, I said that because he said that to me. But then he's like, I didn't say that. But then they're like, well, so so what, they agree to disagree about what he said about a woman running? What are we talking about? Like, sh- I think Warren realizes if she says anything, she's probably just going to dig a deeper hole. Well, yeah, I mean, but at the same time, like, no, someone's a liar here. I want to know who the liar is. 
Can someone tell me who the fucking liar is? Because if you're lying about this stuff, I want to know what else you're lying about. Also, Elizabeth Warren kind of has a history of just saying shit that ain't true now. Just, yeah. oh, 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 I used to like Warren. I liked Warren. I used to like her. And I kind of like her a little bit in a way, but like, I, what are you doing? She's the best of the worst. You think so? I I used to think that, but now I now I think I don't know, man. I think the only reason why I think I like Bernie the best is because they everybody just keeps fucking him over, and it's like making me angry. It makes me hate all of them more. Like I hate yeah, them. It gives, it gives him like an underdog story, you know. You kind of want to. Yeah, like Bernie is the underdog who keeps getting fucked over, but he cucks out to everybody. I wish he would flip the fuck out and have like a knife on stage and then just be like, you know what? <laughs> fuck everything and fuck you. And he just goes and stabs Joe Biden right in the throat. And then he fucking like pees all over Warren and then flips the fucking banisters over and just and then runs after the CNN lady. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. I went on Grinder for the first time Jerome came over wow I've never seen such a big cock I put it in my mouth and wow it tastes like watermelon I spit it out gross I looked at my stepsister and did her anally for the first time a lot of cum trump cum Ugh. God damn What? <laughs> Lovely The name of that donator was first time <laughs> <laughs> This is my first time. <laughs> Long time first time. Long time first time. Well, uh, that's all I've got to talk about tonight. I couldn't give a shit about it. <laughs> Come on, I, I'm done. Is there anything anybody else wanted to say about anything? No. No. Elizabeth Warren's a dusty cut, and uh, JB's going to kill every single buddy on the Red Sox team. Tomorrow. Well, looking out for that. I wonder who the uh, manager is going to. They should really make me the manager. Red Sox, are you listening? Joe Cronin, it's in my blood. Let's go. Make me Bring the manager. Bring him back. <laughs> Imagine if I became the manager of the Reds. I didn't know where, like for no reason. They were like, just anything to distract from this. We'll hire some nobody. And then like the media will start digging into who I am and then finding all the clips of me on YouTube. The Red Sox may have just hired one of the most homophobic racial. <laughs> <laughs> and then but I the... promise not to cheat. <laughs> they keep cutting. <laughs> <laughs> what was that at the end? <laughs> The drunk hiccup. Oh, are you drunk? What are you drinking? No, I was pretending you would be drunk in the press conference. Oh, I didn't hiccup. No, I don't hiccup. That's bullshit. I don't do that. Fuck that. <laughs> That's a lie. That's you a lie. You also don't manage the Red Sox, but we're in a fucking hypothetical situation here, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus man. Trying. How quickly would I be done with that team? And I'd be like, well, it was a character. I mean, like, a character like uh you know all anything else that'd be fired anyway they'd fire me <laughs> i think you'd lead them all to world series i'm not gonna lie i'm just gonna ruin my credibility even more there we Ma go managing would drive me nuts because i'd want so bad to be out there doing something or but i mean maybe not maybe i, I don't know i'd be all right i'd have fun actually i'd have to eat a lot of fucking like i have some major add i remember just being on the baseball teams and like I would you talk about chewing sunflower seeds dude I'd be chewing fucking just all kinds of weird shit like my teeth would be shit I would have to go get like a dental visit like once a month like can you fill this cavity and put this cap on this tooth and yeah like what have you been doing oh I'm chewing on fucking wood in the dugout <laughs> what yeah the fuck? and eating candy over and over again and candy canes and just like it would be I'd be gnawing at shit. I would definitely like break things and throw things. I would probably take the record for ejections because I would snap in the fucking dugout. Yeah, so you're not getting hired. Well, I mean, no, I mean, I, I'd be wouldn't be that crazy, but I mean, I'd pro I'd be like Lou Pinella like. You know what I'm saying? I would definitely be Lou Pinella like, and I'd be like, that's what the fans want right now. They're mad. They're angry about the Celtics score of shit. You know, and if the team wasn't doing well, you know, hey, at least, uh, um, you know, Coach Joe, Coach Cronin's going out there and he's going to flip the fuck out on an umpire. 
He's a local guy. He knows what it takes. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me with the fucking strike zone you got? What are you, a fucking cocksucker? You fucking bent over from all the ass fucking and the fucking butt pumping that you think the fucking strike zone is down here? Is that what you think the strike zone is? Because you're like this. Every fucking night with fucking Toby, you fucking homo fucking cock sucking fuck. Your fucking ankles are down here with the strike zone. You fucking cock sucker. Like, it'd be fucking that was great. Pretty good. That was a good Boston impression. Oh, dude, it would be fucking. It, it's not an impression. He fucking lives here. I mean, no, dude. Like, oh, if I, oh yeah, that's right. No, if I. <laughs> 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 I mean, no, dude, idiot. if I get mad, like that accent is coming out if I get mad. Like that is coming out if I get angry. So that's what's going to happen on the fucking baseball field. And that fucking umpire, man, I'm telling you, I'd probably, you know, they talk about the pump, the bump, you know, when they bump the umpire with their chest. See, I'd bump him with my dick on dick just to fuck with him. Like bump my dick into his dick. Uh, uh. Now that's a fucking power move. That's a fucking power move. Huh? You fucking talk about fucking, uh. All right, we got to get out of here. I love you guys. Thanks for listening. Troy, anything uh, you want to you want to plug? Uh, no. Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> Find him on Twitter. I'll just well, just thanks. harass him on Twitter. Yeah, that works. All right, everybody. Uh, <laughs> oh look, JB's back. I would, yeah, he's going to kill me tomorrow. <laughs> I would coach the team because of the coward spineless cunts in the upper office. Yeah, that's true. Hey, I know where John Henry takes his uh, hot tub baths. Do you want to go over there and just, like, we'll go get him? Um, we could go get him, you know what I mean? You know what, grumpy nerd? Hey, I'm uh, going to come. I'm going to fuck guess you. Guess who drives him and his wife around? Oh, you do that? Yeah. Well, then you can get JB in the car with him. Yeah. I could. <laughs> uh, gr grumpy nerd in the chat. What up, grumpy nerd? We're going to fuck you up, grumpy nerd, okay, dude? I am going to come to one of your fucking gay-ass fucking music review things on your channel, and I'm going to fucking call you. I'm going to... All the shit I know about you before you had an audience, I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to do the biggest exposed video on you, grumpy nerd, than you've ever seen. Grumpy nerd fuck. reacts to Psycho Joe Cronin. Yeah. that we, we, <laughs> we react to each other. I thought his screams were a little pitchy. Oh, well, <laughs> well he's actually kicking ass. Like, I, I hate to um, just to not end the show like I was about to, but you remember Grumpy Nerd for years was, like, doing things, and he was doing, like, a pop figure collection thing, and he was doing all kinds of other shit. What's and, up? And, 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 like, eventually, like, he was like, fuck pop figures and fuck all that shit. I'm not doing it anymore. And then he just started doing whatever he wanted to do, and he kind of lost that audience because of that. You know what I mean? Because, like... 80% of his audience were like, bring back the fucking pop things and everything. He's like, dude, I don't, I just don't want to do that. I don't fucking care. I don't want to do it. But people, that's all people wanted was do that again, do that again, you know. But now he does, like, reactions. Give it a hell yeah! Imagine Bernie saying he'd deport Ivanka and lock her up in a cage like they do at the border. Oh. Saying he's just enforcing the rules. I know he couldn't do it, but it'd be funny the way that you put it over Joe. Deftones, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, if I if I could be with if I could work with Bernie, I could get Bernie elected to president. Like I'm dead serious. If if somebody put me in charge of Bernie's campaign, we would fuck Trump's ass. Like it would be amazing. But but we'd he fuck him in ass. We would fuck his ass, or we would at least come close. What they're doing now, they'll they're no, no one's coming close. No one's doing shit. This fucking standoff, whatever the fuck. Oh shit! It's Grumpy Nerd! That's a great background. Oh! Night Joe. Yo, JG. Is that Juan again or is that someone else? JG. JG, thank you for the $21. That donation still isn't working right. It's the peacock donation, but with Santa falling on his face. I don't, I don't know. I still... <laughs> fuck? I can't. Not, none of your donations make sense. It's some kind of Franken donation. Uh, JG, thank you, man, for the $21. But yeah, so Grumpy Nerd now has his channel back again with uh, after being dead for a, for a couple of years. And now he's doing pretty good, man, because whenever he does a reaction, he gets... Uh, 
you know, 8,000, 400, 3,000. He's got a couple from with like 30,000, 40,000 views, like recently, like a whole bunch. So like grumpy nerd, man. Last time he was on the show, I, I don't remember when it was, but yeah, c- congrats to Grumpy Man. I'm a fucking idiot. Joe calls sex line as Onision. <laughs> it's me, Onision. Hello. No, I'm fucking killing myself. Ooh, it's me, Onision. I'm not gonna do what you guys think I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do what you think I do. Which is just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> fucking licking the toilet like a fuck Jesus. a weirdo yeah weird shit alright good night everybody thanks for the Bye. donation man <laughs> thanks Troy D Moon and Dummy Good night, everybody. Thanks to all the $25 patrons and above. The producer-level patrons are as follows. ADTR210, Arknolia Strokelbean, Awandi Big M, Big Fuego, Jacob, Ryan Harper, CJ Bradley, Cold Brew Crew, Dan H. and Cora, Daniel Cater, uh, Drew Barr, Dwayne Crenshaw, Frog Kid, Gary Meltzer, Jerry Armstrong, Mr. Gerald Armstrong, Joe Compton, Constipated Rock, John Zippe, Joseph Lightsey, Kellel Bama, we got uh, Matt Rossmeyer, Mike Torian, Mikey to Crikey, Nikki J, Star Scream, Shell, Sith Negan, Talk to Me Nice, The Bear 1322, Tony Diesel, right now the top guy, Tony Diesel, Z the Reaper, and um, where is, uh, is Joe Compton on there? Yeah, Joe Compton, the Renegade, he's there, there he is. Thank you guys for listening to Throwdown episode 79 tonight. Tomorrow night will be Wednesday night uh, review of AEW. Then Thursday night will be Out of Nowhere Wrestling Podcast. Those two shows taking place on the Joe Cronin Show, my other YouTube channel, Joe Cronin Show. And then Friday night is Monetize This. Friday night right here on Corrupted Nation. And Saturday night we're back with Corrupted Podcast again. I'm hoping to make it three weeks in a row of shows that I enjoyed. So uh, hopefully... We can do three weeks in a row of top show. And then tomorrow, Morning Madness. For the last time before the name change, episode 200 of Morning Madness will be available for patrons. So make sure you become a patron if you haven't already. Because episode 200 is tomorrow. The questions post is up on Patreon right now. Hit me up with any question you have or anything you want me to talk about. I'm going to get into everything and anything it's going to be a wild ride of a, of a uh, podcast, and it will be available to you uh, tomorrow morning on Patreon. It's going to be a probably a longer one than normal, and I'm going to talk about a lot of things. So make sure you get over there to uh, Patreon, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show, or download the app on your phone, search Joe Cronin Show. All my links are down in the description box below of this video including all the $25 patrons, you should be down there. If you're $25 and above, you should be down there. If you've ever donated more than 3 k in a lifetime, that should be down there. All those accolades, all those uh, promotions are of you and what you've uh, contributed to the show should be down below there. And uh, thank you to... Uh, we didn't put up a belt tonight, but I want to say thank you to Shell and uh, JG. They were the top donations of the stream. Shell... With the, with the $29 turkey donation. And also a big shout-out to Everyday Jam, who earlier on my uh, my random stream on the JCS channel, Anything Goes, he dropped a 
fucking hundred dollars, man. It was crazy. <clears throat> he got me fired up. Good night, everybody. I'll see you guys on Patreon in the morning for that podcast. You can download it on your phone and all that stuff. Good night. The JCS Army is on Patreon.